PJD Google Eden Gaming. Skeleton. Chicken. Man. I'd buy that for a dollar.
fade out. Saga Frontier, my beloved. <laughs> Gotta play more Saga at some point. Probably play more sometime this year. Maybe there's a few more that I want to get around to in a timely fashion. Let me see here. Daemon Friday, thank you for the Tier 1. Hollow Knight and Geop, thank you for the follows. Ultimo, thank you for the 100 bits. Mushroom Eyes, thank you for the 47 whole years. No, we never got around to the Super Boss in Saga Frontier. And while I usually do uh, leave that Here's for... Here's a quarter, Fats. Get out of town. <laughs> Ultimo, thank you for the quarter. Usually I do leave that for the viewers to do on their own time. I actually was planning on getting around to that one. Just hasn't come up yet. Perhaps someday. Anyway, the frog race got redeemed. Let's press that button. <laughs> I don't recognize two of these. That's two frogs I don't recognize. <laughs> All right, place your bets. I mean, I don't memorize the frog names, no. I just see them a lot. Suwako is a frog girl from Toho. What you're saying is... We've accidentally given Weeb's power to name frogs, I understand. Bets are in! Macho Man, unsurprisingly, favored to win 35%! Best of luck, everyone. Start the frog race! Frog number one and four, neck and neck. Frog number one goes for the line! He doesn't get there, though! No. Oh, he gets there just in time. Lord Horse wins the race. We should have never doubted him. Pay it out. To frog number one. 241,000 new yen given to 13 lucky winners of the first frog race of the day. Congratulations to everybody who won. The early bird race. <laughs> Alright. Where were we? Ah, I know where we were. Clown music! Yeah, no, turn that up. Remember this OST? It's back! We're like halfway through the intro, I guess we'll just let it play out. <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm grooving in my chair over here. But it's not like a... It's not like a hot jams kind of a groove, it's like... That gif of Jay-Z where he's bobbing his head to the beat, but he's got, like, a worried look on his face. <laughs> there he is, toiling away in the robot mines.
All right. Now we can start the video game. Where were we? Level 20! The town of Rococo. If I'm remembering this right, when last we left off in this video game, we had collected all three MacGuffins. Just hear me out. Robo. Tech War. With a cyborg hacker and William Shatner. Okay, I'll go now. That's just regular Tech War, surely. <laughs> Thank you. We're the 100 bits. We've collected all three of the omni-important plot stones. All three of the mysterious MacGuffins. What do they do? I don't think it's been made clear at this point, actually. But we know that the bad guys want them. So it's probably best that we hang on to those. Let's go to our house. Oh shit, the fuzz is here! Ah, good. Dino, listen. What are you going to do, Dino? No matter what, blood is thicker than water. There were three jewels stolen. The mayor says you did it. You're under arrest. DJ Tatsujin, thank you for the raid. What were y'all up to? We just got arrested. I mean, we just started the stream and we got arrested. Taking the mayor's things was really stupid. Well, I'll return these to him. Dino has lost all three of the stones. That was quick. The mayor will decide what'll happen to you. Until then, stay there and calm down. Thank you for the raid, Tatsujin. Hope the stream went well. That didn't take long. <laughs> Why did we steal those from the mayor? We definitely didn't. How do we get out of jail? I'll tell you how. We doot our silly horn, which makes explosion sounds and not horn sounds. To attract the cop's attention, and then... Marry me with my change into a mouse. R.I.P. MacGuffin. Not here! Yo, the police, thank you for the dollar twenty-three. The mayor will be mad, he'll cut my pay! Yo, good looking out. If it had a horn that played any sound, what sound would it be? It would, uh... It would play the Chesto from Undernight. Mm. It would only scare a very small portion of the populace, but I feel like the people that it would really work on, I could use that for nefarious deeds. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you came back? My mother told me something awful happened to you. She said the mayor took something from you. Aren't you angry? Just go get it! I know a secret way to the mayor's house. A room, a down arrow, the police! It leads there. It's not just for you. The mayor causes my mother a lot of trouble. I'm gonna get him! I'll wait for you in the room. Come! The room is down arrow of the police station. See ya! You got it. <laughs> See ya. I feel like there were books in here that we are now smart enough to read. Oh, let's go, Turbo Beck! I learned how to make weather. Learned how to make vanish. 24? I can't read that. Too stupid to read that. That's okay. Yeah, no, this game's great. There are a couple things we'd been avoiding on purpose because uh, this game is, to put it gently, not very balanced. One of those things we're gonna start using today. Oh God, we gotta buy some more repairs too from the looks of it. Because Yeah, we had to use them all during the boss fight. Everyone's speed is at 50 now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We had been avoiding Sword 4. We got it not too long ago in the game, but we didn't equip it. Even though this is by far the best weapon that we have access to right now. 
We're gonna put that over here, I guess. And we're just gonna... We're gonna duct tape some swords together right now, actually. And we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna talk about why this weapon is so absurd. <laughs> Alright. Sword 4, level 5. So, Sword 4 is the strongest sword in the game, and it goes up to level 9. Sword 4, level 9 is what, ideally, we would end up with. We could quickly make some more swords to get that up to level 5, but it's already at 60 power. I don't think that's something we'll have to bother with just yet. He has 120 strength. Let's stay with that. How do we get an axe 3? We're going to need an axe 3. We only have an axe 2. We have a punch 2 as well. We're going to need a punch 3. What am I holding? What kind of scrap do I got? I do have a scrap 9. The streamer may have done... Uh, the streamer may have had a little look-see at the combination table to see what makes what, and I'm pretty sure Punch 1 plus Scrap 9 gives us Punch 3 the most powerful punch in the game. So we're making some, uh, very useful upgrades at the moment. <laughs> I have some other Scrap too, but I'm not too worried about what those might make just yet. Where is... And now we need to combine those together. Yeah, the meat chart, too! It's back! We have punch 3, level 4. And then we, we're holding a bunch of other punches. We're, we're just gonna slap all these together. Just duct tape. Duct tape all the boxing gloves together. <laughs> it's the best way. So between this and the sword four and the axe two that we're holding, everybody should be able to hit pretty fucking hard. That should be all we have to do for a while. Yeah, you take that. He still- we still have, like, the, the goofy throwing hammer as well. Yeah, the Celtus level 8. We, have, we just have a shield on T260, sword 4, shield here. Yeah, no, it's all fine. We are gonna need some more revives. We are sorely lacking those at the moment. Let's purchase some helpful items. How much are these? 300 bit rich for my blood. I'll take five of them. There we go. Let's go to this so-called place down arrow of the police station. <laughs> ah, here it is. The door is shut! It was open before. It looks pretty old. If we both push, it'll probably open. Okay, push! Good. <laughs> ah, yes, the sewers. And the clown music is back, baby! <laughs> It's like we never left! Let's talk about the most fucked up weapon in this video game. Let's talk about Sword 4. Unlike... Unlike all the other swords in the game, which just attack... You know, you walk up to your opponent and then you swing the sword at them. Sword 4 is a little different. It hits the entire screen, no matter where you're standing. 
Now, we missed there because this thing's very evasive. The point is, whenever we're up against normal mooks, this guy's a bit of an exception. He's one of those, you know, defend and then run away kinds of enemies. Whenever we're up against something normal, we can just fight them from way the fuck out there. There are, this has horrible implications, which we will get into once we're done fighting these crab enemies. <laughs> oh, look at him! One damage. Fish! Uh, 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 there we go. So yeah, even though we're standing in the middle lane, we can hit both of them with this weapon. The angler is immune to the lightning effect. That's alright, we could probably just bomb him instead. Indeed. Let's talk about back attacks in this video game. The game considers any attack where both participants are facing the same direction as a back attack. Usually that's because you're standing behind your opponent or they are standing behind you. If, for some reason, you have a weapon that hits the entire screen and you just face the other way, technically, the game considers this to be a back attack. Now this thing's immune to the lightning, so it's not a huge issue for them. But he might not be immune to this, because this counts as a different kind of attack. Let's see. That did two damage. Yeah, Luckstar! The sewers have a lot of weird types of enemies in it. We can probably just bomb him like we did. Yeah, yeah. There's always something they're not immune to. But you can see that that did two damage instead of just the one. So the, st the strat with the sword four, for the most part, is to just kind of face the wrong way on purpose. If we get that shit powered up to level nine as quickly as possible, we'll be able to kill things before they ever get a chance to go, probably. Way they just evaporate. Is it possible to regen without repair kits? Double question mark. Yeah, there's a regen item. Do we have one? Nope. Yo, Mr. Radon! A DNO stream is the perfect mixture of science and slapstick. Get it? <laughs> like watching Carl Sagan explain a crab nebula for 10 minutes before going, now let's see what happens if I ramp this sick BMX right into the center of it. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that all day. I'll take that as a compliment, yeah. No skills for healing? No. We do not have MP that we can cast things with. <laughs> But we also will not need such a thing. Both of these guys are gonna run, yeah! It's not a problem. Yeah, I also learned that RXR teleports to the line. It, it teleports directly at them. I thought we had to be, like, physically close enough to do RXR. I thought, like, we had to move up, but no, it just warps to them. So that'll save some travel time. I was definitely wrong on that move. I thought that we had to get closer than we actually do. Which means anytime there's multiple enemies in the line like that, we can just... We can just try to nuke them at the start of the fight. Oh no, we got two in a row! Come here. 
I'll bomb you again. I'll fucking do it again. I don't get the chest opening sound either. <laughs> Never have. What a teleport. We've leveled up! That's good. We can use this to heal instead of using items to do it. Like a goddamn pleb now we can do it this away. 30 charge. We can drop that to 24. Give us more wiggle room for hijinks. Just <laughs> put it all in power. No, 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 no. We need guard. There we go. That feels right. You can have all the power, though. You can take that. Yeah, 99 power. <laughs> Just put one. Just give you more HP. And then more, more guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That feels right. By the end of the game, their builds will all kind of even out, I'm sure. We still have a lot of axes that we're holding. <laughs> we need to get our hands on an axe three. That way... We can throw all these axes into it. We'll probably worry about that after we're out of the sewers. Pay joke! Pay for the ten whole years we got clean. Just for you. <laughs> Fifteen hundred dollars, let's go! So we're at the point where most fights are going to die. Uh, most most fights will end pretty much turn one if we have the correct move to just kind of nuke them with. That's how a lot of these fights are going to go. We're at the point where those capsules don't matter quite so much, which is nice. I'll take a free repair. Got a cure, I'll take that. Don't think this leads anywhere, does it? Oh, it does. Scrap five. Your favorite show? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Don't worry, the VODs aren't going anywhere either. They'll always be available. Unless by some divine error, I completely forget to upload. <laughs> but that shouldn't happen. I'm pretty good at keeping on top of it. At least nowadays, there was a period of time where... There was a period of time where I had to upload, I think, like 40 or 50 VODs in the span of a couple days. Because I, I had gotten that backed up and I told myself I'm never gonna get this backed up on VOD uploads ever again. <laughs> Fish. Thought I could reach that, but I could not. Misjudged my own hitbox, and that's okay. I think... I think I need to be this way, actually. And yo, the Pedro. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Yo, Merry Christmas to King Nocturne getting a gift sub from Pedro. Thank you very much. That's very generous of you. 
Yo, Mary Crimbus. Pretty sure there was a mouse hole back this away. Yeah, 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 there was. Just making sure we get all the treasure as well. And yo, Merry Christmas. Yo, Schmeef. Thanks. Schmeef gifting a sub to Appleshine. T260G <laughs> looking different. Looks like a fucking rat, yeah. And yo, oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks. Not the sub to cloud music. <laughs> Thank you, Space Opera Copter. Oh god. The octopus approaches! Nice teleport. Yo, the back attack? That's pretty rude. I can't tag out. My ability to swap has been disabled temporarily. I'm just gonna bomb him then. I don't think that kills though. Yeah, yeah. That's alright. We're gonna lose one robot here unless he misses. What a clutch block! He's dead. Viscount. Yo, Rig loves this game. Mm -hmm. It's his most favorite battle music. So I've heard. So I've heard. I've heard such a thing. <laughs> Coming in. Oh, can I get the back attack? <laughs> it just fucking melts. That actually is true, Stein. You're doing a bit, but Rig did ask me to and play yo. this. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thanks. Ultimo gifting us up to Clown Wins HD. What is going on? Oh, there's a hype train. I see, I see, I see. The streamer has, no has noticed the hype train meter in the chat room. The so-called hype train. The jury is still out on how hype those actually are. This is a dead end. Understood. Mashing to refill my gauge faster. What a block! <laughs> Brutal SNES trumpet minis. It's not too bad. And yo, Merry Christmas. Mayo Thanks. cats. Gifting Noah the Dark Rye a sub. The game does in fact reward mashing. Yeah. Will this work? No. Okay, we're dead. What a block! Oh, we'd have to block two, though. There's no way. We're not blocking this one. Fair enough. It's alright. We got more robots to spare. Here I go. And yo. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Yo, Ray Cat, who dad gifting Sprite Star a sub? Yeah, we exploded. It's actually not a huge deal. A level up is never far away in this game. And we've got multiple fuck-busted robots to work with. Ah! Uh, break it! Who get- uh, Break it! Who that gifted four subs?! It's insanity going on today. What's happening? What's gotten into you, chat room? Calm down. Thank you very much. Thank you, Raycat. It's a gravy day. Certainly is. $250, I'll take it. Yeah, if you know what you're doing. This game is not what I would describe as balanced. In any way, this game is not at all balanced. The stuff that's good in this game is really good. 
We do have to level it up, though. We gotta get our shit up to level 9 still. But that's not gonna be that hard. We can just duct tape the same items together. How do we get that down there? Yeet! <laughs> Just throw a hammer at him. Why not? I was wrong about the, the throwing hammer, by the way. Hey, yo. Ultimo! Merry Christmas. Thanks! Gifting crab returns a sub. I was wrong about the throwing hammer, by the way. I thought that they couldn't collect what's in capsules. But I think they can. Maybe not the one that we have, but I think one of them can. Uh-oh, reinforcements. Tell you what. Oh, I gotta put RXR on this guy. Alright, new plan. Swapsies. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Face the wrong way, so that technically it's a back attack. Because this game was designed... As long as you are facing the same direction as your opponent, the game considers it to be a back attack. They cannot... the game cannot fathom a scenario where you'd be facing the same direction as them and not being right behind them. Ergo, it must be a back attack, even if it very clearly is not. What do Megs do? Those are experience points. They level you up. The key! Yeah, they clog up your hard drive. <laughs> I love that the whole time the jingle was playing, that fish was like, let me get into combat range. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, they're clearly back attacks. Yeah, we were trapped in the, like, getting a key jingle and the game didn't freeze that fish in place. Yo, what's up, Pyronoid? Welcome to, uh... This weapon is too good, the game. I bought this game at a retro game shop as a kinda kid. Mm -hmm. I was thinking Robotech, hoping it was the same. It was not. But True. the game still captured my heart. It is a very charming game. There's a lot to love about this game. <laughs> It is very much not Robotech, though, that is true. We'll probably get around to Robotech at some point. Always more time for big robot games. Yo, thank you for the 100 bits. It ain't Vatlava. Vatlava is the one game, whenever someone's like, yo, I need a Sega Saturn recommendation. I point him to Vatlava every time. I cannot hit this man. These little crabs, I just can't. I can't hit them with anything. Try as I might. I, deal, I dealt one damage. Whatever they're weak to, I don't have it at the ready. They're fairly harmless, though, so it doesn't matter. Thirteen! That's not great. How about this? Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, there's not currently a place to recommend games. The to-do list is frankly too long as it is. So the crux of this video game is just figuring out who is weak to what. 
If something is resistant to lightning, which is what, you know, our full screen lightning sword is doing, if something is resistant to this attack, they might not be resistant to the three attack combo version. Because that counts as a run type move and not a lightning type move. That does remind me, I'm gonna have to. As soon as we level up, I'm gonna have to put RXR on. Probably all three of them. Just if I don't have it. So yeah, our sword is lightning elemental, but everything that goes in this run category here counts as a run elemental move. So if I do this, technically this is not lightning type. Which means there will sometimes be enemies that resist one and not the other. The move list is not shared, you program them all yourself, yeah. There is... Yeah, there is a hole in that wall. So these things resist lightning, yeah? Yeah, that did two damage. But maybe they don't resist the combo version. No, they, they resist both of those. <laughs> Look at all these capsules just lying around. But do they resist bombs? No. It's always something. You just gotta figure out what it is that works. We can also just move right in and start punching them. That's always an option. Come here. Coming in. Die. <laughs> Oh no, it was me who died! That's not a problem. How many... I've got seven repairs, I'm good. I don't got nothing to worry about. There's our level up. We actually didn't need to use that repair. We were close enough to a level up, we could just do it this away. So what do we need? Everybody needs RXR. Everybody. Eh? Uh, eh? It's just an it's an incredibly useful move that everyone should have. No. Nope. Eh, uh. There we go. And then we're back to this. Let's see. More energy is tempting, but I think we just want more defense. I think this is the defense level up where we get everyone's defense up. That feels right. And then we just kind of scrape these corpses off the ground until they're good as new again. <laughs> Can I make an axe three right now? How do I make a... We need to make like a hammer three in order to do that. What kind of scraps am I holding? I have a scrap six. Scrap two, scrap four. Because I think in order to make an axe three, we need like a hammer three. Or wait. No, we don't have what we need for that yet. Axe three still on hold. Not that it matters. Axe two is doing more than enough damage anyway. You're gonna be seeing that a lot. You're gonna be seeing a lot of fights go like that. Just face the wrong way, nuke whatever is on screen. Equip drill. Mm -hmm. 
was not joking when I said that this game has some shit that ain't balanced so good. Got a scrap too, we got some more money. The shit that's busted in this game is like extremely busted. To a weirdly high degree. The claw that Welcome we have right now. Zone. Get ready. Play Gyochi, thank you for the follow. I might not have said that right. So punch three is the best punch in the game. But it also has the highest crit rate in the game. It's got like a one in eight chance to crit. Crits are fucked up in general in this game because they completely ignore all defense and resistances. <laughs> so even if they would otherwise resist this weapon, if you land a crit, they just die. And a 1 in 8 chance is pretty significant. <laughs> it's true. It's a good point, Raycat. Get rid of 1. Yeah, those things resist lightning somewhat, but they don't resist the triple lightning, because that doesn't count as lightning. For some reason. Which means I can just do this, and they don't resist it, and it's technically a back attack, and it does 200 damage almost. There's another breakable wall here, yeah. We got a key! I would describe the previous stream as us playing this game somewhat fairly. This stream will not be that. This stream, we already got the good shit and we're damn well gonna use it. must change into mouse. How can you do this to me? How can you present me with an unblockable 50-50 pipe? An empty pack. Yeah, we're mouse. We equipped the change item. Which just changes you into a mouse. Go through mouse holes and speak mouse. We received an empty pack. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Decoherent. Good name. Thank you for the follow. How long have we been able to do that? We got that at the end of the previous stream. It is a fairly new ability that we have. <laughs> Okay, we got the key. That bit of business is handled. Now we have to figure out where it goes. We've done these events out of order. You've been converted to play Hagar. Ah, oh, I'm glad to hear it. He's a good character. Actually, he's kind of bad in the, you know, competitive landscape. Casually, though, he's the most fun character in the game. Big fan. <laughs> I don't think there's that many enemies in here that resist just a normal axe swing. 
So if we put T260 back in the front and we just RXR at the start of every fight, we'd probably just kill most of them instantly. Like, I don't think either of them are axe resistant. Oh, he kinda is. He is a little bit. Die. <gasps> he lived! The good news about their attack taking so long is that you have ample time to recharge your fuel gauge. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, the knockback lands, but the damage didn't. It's very well explained. Don't worry about it. Don't you, don't you knock back. Don't you dare. Interesting. So the teleport slash they are resistant to, but not just an ordinary swing. Fascinating. Interesting. Whenever we need to recharge, we need to mash the B button as swiftly as possible. Yeah, you better run. That is a mechanic, yeah. So, you uh, have a- you have a charge statistic. All of our robots are at 24 charge right now. The more charge you have, the faster your fuel gauge goes up on its own, but you can also supplement that by mashing the B button to charge faster. I think once it's at, like, 50, though, once you get charged to, like, 50, they stop allowing you to mash. So, technically, 49 charge plus mashing is better than 50 is. <laughs> because, again, this game was designed... One thing you'll notice is there is no shortage of encounters in this here video game. <laughs> 100 years of cumulative dev experience. Where is this? What are we looking for here? I don't know where I am right now. Let's go left first. Left never fails. Left has failed! Left is a dead end of never going left again. Honestly, kind of a low tier direction. Yeah, we got a buff left. It's not that strong. Yeah, the direction tier list. The only completely mundane tier list that matters is the days of the week tier list. Where the top tier... Uh, the toppest tier is the back half of Friday. Back half of Friday is the top tier. Yeah, these guys we just kind of want to ignore, because we can't do anything to them. Wow, we just found an Axe 3. Okay, I guess we don't have to sweat making one ourselves, then. We just fucking found one. That simplifies matters greatly. <laughs> Thank you. 
In terms of raw damage, Axe 3 is the strongest weapon in the game. But it is on level 1 right now, so probably won't... Yeah, right now, level 2... Uh, level 9 Axe 2 is obviously stronger than a level 1 Axe 3, but we're going to be able to duct tape those together and end up with almost a level 9 Axe 3, and that is the strongest thing in the game. I have a key. There it is. My bag is a mess. <laughs> One hundred and eight damage for absolutely zero work. Love to see it. There we go. We're out of the sewers. We've snuck into the back. Snuck into the back of the mayor's house. Stream at man. They were the twenty six whole years. Yeah, he's just a little sewer guy. There's people over there. Missed out on Injustice 1. Injustice 1 is... not a real game. I... it can't possibly be. I saw one clip of Zodball and I'm like, this can't be real. It's definitely not a real game. <laughs> Hackers have occupied the mayor's house. If you don't want something bad to happen, go away. You got it. How do I bust into the joint? I heard you were arrested on suspicion of stealing the mayor's jewelry. I know. You're kind of goofy. You'd never steal. It's a plot against you. The mayor's acting strange. Have you heard the rumors? I'm sure there's something to them. No matter how many times I see him, he won't let on what he's doing is... Ah, it's so frustrating! The mayor and you, I smell a rat. Call it a journalist's hunch! Oh, Dino, you shouldn't come here. People are still suspicious of you. But, since you were arrested, he's been odd. He works so hard, he's like he's a different person. Curiouser and curiouser. Where did that mouse hole go? Yeah, the mayor actually working? That's odd. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. Some guys called hackers came and took over the mayor's house. What's happened to the mayor? We can't get out because of the hacker guards. What should we do? Mmm. What indeed? I told you to behave yourself. We may not look tough, but when we get mad... Grr, now I'm mad. You're an awful kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm real scared of you. Watch this. Lamau. They sure showed me. There's another locked door. Another mouse hole. Do we got anything in here? Can I case the joint? There ain't shit in here. Yeah, get zapped, idiot. Stupid dummy. We're pretty close to another level up. Not close enough from here to actually get there, though.
Dino, get me out of here! The new mayor is a fake! Oh, we found the real mayor. <laughs> Rose, she's such a fake. She stole three stones from me, then locked me in here. There's one good thing. She took two of them, but I hid one in a place she'll never find. If you get me out of here, I'll give you the stone. Please, I must expose that mayor for what he is. I did bad things to you, but it was her idea. I was suspicious of her, too. If you can get me out, I'll give the stone back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you suppose I do that? How do we bust the mayor out of here? go back down talk to uh talk to the reporter whose name i already forgot hey kid there are guards out there it's dangerous to go out oh yeah i mean i'm pretty sure i can take them but the plot demands i go around i'm pretty sure i could nuke them in two seconds Love to get railroaded by plot. What? The guy in the mayor's office is a fake! Hmm. Just as I suspected. I'll investigate further, then I'll expose him. Yeah? <laughs> Where are you going? He won't give himself away! I can't tell him from the real mayor. There must be some way to tell. Well, any ideas? None whatsoever. Is what I would say if I hadn't played this game before. We actually have to recruit this dog. That's our current objective, but before we do that, we should heal. <laughs> Yeah, I tried asking if he's fake. He said no. It was my master plan, and he parried it. Now what am I to do? This is a disaster. Alright, we are all healed up. Let's go recruit that dog. Did anyone lose themselves in the battle theme? Yeah. I mean... I'll be hearing it in my dreams for the next few weeks. Some of you will probably as well. Oh, wait. Actually, while I'm here... While I'm here... Let's duct tape some axes together. No. No, no. No, no, no. Uh... Equip this hammer. Here we go. <laughs> the Trap Remix Robotrek Battle Theme, yeah! <laughs> Alright, here's a level 3, uh, or level 5 Axe 3. I've, I'm holding three more axes so we can get most of the way there right now. And this is like, this is the weapon we'll be sticking with for the rest of the game, so if we get this out of the way at the start of the stream... We're going to be able to trivialize a lot of fights along the way as we do the rest of the game. This will probably be a pretty long stream, like uh, like last stream. We're going to try to get it done in two. We still have a lot, a lot to do, though. We stopped somewhere I would describe as halfway. X3 level 8. That is nearly the strongest weapon in the entire game. 161 damage! It's getting silly, but it gets better 
because we found an empty pack as well. So if we construct ourselves a weather, which I know that sounds stupid, but we can construct a device that changes the weather. And we may yet need that for something in the future. For now, though, we're going to use it to fill that empty pack and create a solar pack. Yeah, I'm very much not a speedrunner. I... I don't... I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm cut out for that. <laughs> the solar pack... The game does not even tell you what the solar pack does. But, uh, regen was, uh, asked. Someone asked if there was any regen in this game. The solar pack is the one and only thing that has passive healing. So we're gonna stick that on T260, I suppose. Scrap 2 can't be used here. Save my game, please. Thank you. Where's that dog? I don't speak dog. Equip the relay so that we can speak dog. I want to play! Someone take me out! Let's go. Let's go dogs defer. We've got places to be. Mint. Got it! The mayor hates dogs! Everybody knows that! So, Dino, bring the dog to his office. I'll go first and ask for an interview. The mayor hates dogs. If that's the real mayor, he'll be repulsed by this dog that we just brought in. Well, what a cute dog. But you shouldn't bring a dog in where people are trying to work. Wait! Mayor, when did you get over hating dogs? Before, if you were even close to a dog, you'd let out a shriek. So what's going on now? Well, I, uh, see? Hmm, I guess I might as well come clean. I'm not really the mayor. I'm actually Hacker Vice Commander and Rose's biggest fan! Since you know who I am, I'm afraid I can't let you go. I'll take your life in the name of Rose. Yeah, he folded pretty quick. Oh, what a body splash. He's a round boy, isn't he? What a juke! Never mind. You see how we got that HP right back? 81 damage! You cannot hurt me in a way that matters. Uh oh, he's got the he's got the back attack. I ch I changed my mind. You can't hurt me in a way that matters. But so can I. All right, if he gets a fat back attack, we're dead. It's all right. We got plenty of revives. Why am I lining up for a back attack? Like, why would I even bother? I can do that from way over here. Two! Oh, he resists lightning. Are you resistant to this, though? Not really. Eh, a little bit. Alright, let's pick up my... I need to revive my axe murderer. go. <laughs> what a whiff! Die. 19! That didn't do quite what I was hoping for. It's alright, that's not who we're trying to do this fight with anyway. Oh, we're back, baby! Let's go! Easy. Now, what do I do with these? 
I feel like we must continue to raise guard. It feels imperative to keep guard high. Because enemy damage gets pretty ludicrously high the farther we go. There we are. Easy enough. Yeah, it's a repair kit. We did it! A scoop? This won't do. I must write an article. $3,500. Let's fucking go. Now, where was the actual mayor? Whoops. Walked right back out. I'm a fool. What? You beat the other guard? I can't ignore that. I'll punish you! Was that Mayor the robot? Yes. Yes, he was. Open the door, I'd quite like to. Ah, shit. Key's probably on his desk or some shit. Hold on. Gotta go back to the <laughs> mayor's desk. There's probably a key in there. Uh, this way. What's up, Daddy Long Legs? Small rat, what crimes will he commit? Aha! Yeah, the rat pulls out the magnifying glass. The, you can read books as a rat, too. I have done a big circle. Is what I've done. Done a big, huge circle. <laughs> Getting lost in the mayor's house. Who builds a house like this? Yeah, bring it around town. There we go. Dino, you saved me! I owe you my life! Oh yeah, the stone. There's a fireplace in the next room, leading to a hidden room. Your stone is there, but do it quickly! It's been nothing but trouble. Something awful happened! You got it. Somehow, he removes the grating, it said. STONE ONE! We got our MacGuffin back. Ha ha ha! Well done, kid. I was worried about not finding the last stone. This Tetron will be used for something important. Thanks, kid! All right, somehow we've lost our stone. <laughs> it was just telepathically removed from our inventory. Dino, I want to take your picture for the article on the fake mayor. This is not the time. What? Looking for Rose? She's on the roof, I think. What's happened? It's a good question. 
Yeah, not the stone. We don't even know what the stones do. We just know that we want them for some reason. Well, kid, come to see me off? What a cute kid. Thanks to you, my plan will succeed. Maybe we'll meet again. Oh. She was a magic girl. She's gone now. Understood. They could be delicious. I won't rule that out. It's very possible. We've saved the mayor, but at what cost? We've lost all of our MacGuffins! Absolutely no MacGuffins to our name right now. When a woman likes a man, it can be a scary thing, remember that! I mean, you're the one that was... You're the one that was in love with the magic girl that stole all the MacGuffins and then teleported away. It's kind of on you. I don't see how that's my problem. They say that mayor was a fake. But he was a nice man and did his share of the work. Now we're back to that lazy-ass mayor who doesn't do anything. We've saved the day. <laughs> That crab can speak like a human. Very interesting. Let's go take a look. The harbor, you said? Good, let's go. <laughs> Wild logic. We can't, uh, we can't expect too much from this game's logic. This game's logic goes in wild, unintended directions. A poem has been redeemed. Let me save my game first. And then we will pause it, and then we will mute it, and then we'll hit the Stampede button. Hey Stampede, how about a poem? It's never too late for them to rip into the fruit of our labor. Their ink-tipped claws tear and shred, leaving the juiciest of juices to desiccate amid the dust and spilled oil of a cold concrete garage floor. They do it in the name of profit, each hiding behind the next, carving into the most succulent with the casual ease of seasoned, smiling surgeons without the vaguest taste for the fruit they cut. Mm. Tell me about it, Stampede. Thank you. Where were we? <laughs> you talk your shit, Stampede. What is the... what is the situation here? Why are we holding all these boots? For what reason? Okay. What is the weapon situation? Axe is at level 8. That will not be hard to get to level 9. All we need is a hammer and a sword, I think. I can just make a sword real quick. Because I have a hammer in my inventory. We can... Duct tape those together, make an axe. And then duct tape that to the axe that's already equipped. Uh, hammer plus sword equal hammer. Or, hammer plus sword equal axe. Axe plus axe equal gooder axe. There we go. Axe 3, level 9. That is the strongest weapon. In terms of raw damage, that is the strongest weapon in the game. So that's out of the way. That's pretty good to have. We should probably max out our sword while we're at it. Which is at what? Sword 4 is at level 5. That means I need to buy... I need to create four more of these. Let me just create four swords. And then we will just duct tape these to the other one, and then that's at level 9 as well. I think the punch is already at level 9. Punch 3, I think, I think we were done with that one. 
if not, that won't be. I mean, we might as well do that too, if we can. Uh, what was it at? Punch is at level 6. Okay, so I need to create three punches as well. If we get this all out of the way right now, we'll never have to worry about hitting those capsules again. It's all handled, and we can just focus on killing shit in two seconds. Alright, now we need to make... Now we need to unequip... ...their weapons. Just give them something stinky. So that we have... ...all the space required to do all this FUSION! It's time to duct tape a million swords together. We're gonna, just gonna chuck green that shit. We have the technology. Through the power of duct tape, we can create the ultimate weapon. In terms of... In terms of raw damage output, Sword 4 level 9 is the strongest sword, but even then it's not that strong. But that is offset quite a lot by the fact that it hits full screen and hits everything, not just the one target. And Punch 3 is the strongest punch in the game. And while it doesn't have a huge raw damage number, every time it crits it's gonna hurt like hell. So, for my money, these are, like, the three most useful weapons we could be fighting with. And now they're all maxed out in advance. If we're lacking anywhere right now, it's ranged weaponry. We're gonna need to... Uh, we're gonna need to, like... Power up guns some kind of way. <laughs> but that is not our problem at the moment. Right now, we're big chillin'. So we've got X3 level 9. You can have the Punch 3 level 9. You can have the Sword 4 level 9. Two people have a shield. Gorf has a throwing hammer. Yeah, I'm fine with this setup. I should buy some more revives. But first, I should repair, uh, I should recycle some of these cleans just to make inventory space because a hot damn do these take up a lot of space. And I should recycle these big bombs because we're never going to use these again. And we can get decent money from them. Cool. Let's buy some more revives. Yeah, we got a nice little robot army popping off. Buy some repairs for the road. They're a little expensive. Rightfully so. This ain't no garbage revive like in a lot of RPGs where it revives them with one hit point. It is a full heal revive every time. So I'm not surprised it is expensive, but that is fine. Want to play Power Stone 2 again? Powerful! Yeah. Let's make another weather. Because I think now is the moment where we can actually use it. <laughs> yeah, full re I mean, full revive is the default, but I think it's because it's extremely easy to die in this game. If you get, like, if you get crit once, you're pretty much dead. That's just kind of how it is. To the harbor.
What do you want? We found this crab. We're gonna tease it for a while. Go away. Hey, stop bullying that crab. Master, it's me! I was the hacker's leader, now I'm just a crab! Ah, this was the first boss in the game. <laughs> I've come a long way to tell you something, but now these kids have caught me. Can't I just... toot my horn? Is this anything? <laughs> Don't mistreat the crab, but it's fun! Okay, we'll stop. But it's gonna cost you. You're an inventor? An invention would do. Give me some good equipment. What's that? It makes a loud noise and scares people. Cool, give us that. Well, all right. I, I mean, that was probably a bad move. We shouldn't have gave the kid the surprise horn. Thank you. You're a very kind person. It's about your father. I heard from a hacker friend. He's being forced to work at Hacker HQ. That's what I heard. Just like them. I don't know what'll happen. You'd better go rescue him as soon as you can. Hacker HQ, I went there for my training trip. I'll tell you the place. Go now! Visit the house in the north. The fishermen there can get to the island. The ship will soon sail, as I requested. Go quickly. Be sure to talk to the fisher. Man, you got it. But what if... We go back to the other island first. What if we go back to Volcano Town? Oh! The villages had no rain for a long time. The villages parched! We're all thirsty! They're still dancing, though. It's very wavy in here. Elder Bye Bye, welcome! The village is in turmoil! It hasn't rained for so long. K. Dillman! Thank you for the 23 whole years. Can't you use your power to make it rain? You're the deity's messenger. Make it rain. You got it, sir. You got it. I brought just the thing. It's just that easy. <laughs> Elder Bye Bye, you chanted and it rained! The villagers are happy! You're the hero of the village, I thank you! Check out the two boxes in the corner. You got it. Celtis 3! I believe that's the strongest Celtis in the game. Laser 1! I believe. I believe Celtis 3 is as high as it goes, yeah. So we have a Celtis 1 level 8. So that's gonna let me go like four... That's gonna let me jump like four levels ahead. Aw, oh, Gary's Isaacs underscore. What's going on? We're playing Silly Robot RPG. Look at the little rain cloud over the village now. <laughs> it's adorable. Mission accomplished. We've saved the day. Now we gotta go duct tape those hammers together to max that weapon out. This is good. We're powering up at a frighteningly swift rate. Yeah, three days later, the whole village is underwater. We've drowned them. I mean, we already got their sick loot, right? They already gave us their shit. Whether they live or die now is somebody else's problem. We need to unequip the Celtis. 
unequip that so that we can combine all of our Celtises. Yes! Celtis 3 level 2. So that's the level 1 version. And then the other one's gonna let us jump up like 4 levels because it's on level 8. Yes! Level 6! Excellent. So we gotta make three more Celtises. Welcome to the Dino uh, powers up rapidly by buying a bunch of shit to stack on top of each other. So we gotta create three more of these. We will do that now. We'll just make three more Celtises. They cost 500 each. I'm not thrilled about that. It's kind of it's kind of pricey, kind of rich for my blood. Time to steal someone else's blood, I agree. All that futzing about we were doing with those capsules in the previous stream to gain levels the hard way, we don't need to bother anymore because we have the resources and the money to just forcibly stack shit on top of each other. There we go. Gorf is looking extremely powerful now. Level 9 Punch, level 9 Celtis. The bomb is whatever. We're probably going to replace that with a pack of some kind once we can. What level are we on? 23? No, boots don't combine, sadly. We should be able to... Read the books here. Ultimo! Just duct tape these bits onto the armor. <laughs> I can do that. Hold on, I got you. I gotta read the books as a mouse. So that you get the mouse reading a book sprite. Look at him go. He's so smart. <laughs> Learned how to make smoke. Learned how to make cure. the smartest little mouse I ever did see. Learned how to make clean. Yes. There's endless charm in this video game. One of its greatest strengths. We can pay less for those? Yeah, we can just make them from the uh, R&D rooms now. We don't have to buy them. Whether it's the same price or cheaper, I'm not sure. Oh, it's you! The talking crab told me about you. I don't give rides, but the crab asked me to. I made my living by crabbing. It wouldn't be fair to refuse a crab's request. That boat on the right of the pier will take you over to Snow Mountain. You got it. Frog Race got redeemed. Before we have a little boat ride, then. Before we have us a silly little boat ride, let's have a silly little frog race. Prediction is live! Place your bets now! Yeah, horse is back! <laughs> Lag Switcher's grave is intact again? What are you talking about? Are you saying something happened to it? I think you made it up. I think you're imagining things.
Betting time is over. Horse at 34%. All these close bets chats betting with math and not with their hearts. I agree. Horse is a defending champion, though. So that is the smart bet here. Best of luck, everyone. Who's got the lead? Horse does have the early lead. Wait, frog number one's got the lead. Horse isn't too far behind. Frog number two goes straight for it. Napoleon wins the frog race. He did it for all of France, I suppose. Paying out to Napoleon. 310,000 new yen given to 10 lucky winners. Only 10 people bet on Napoleon. Which means 10 of you just made fucking bank. Congratulations to all 10 of you. <laughs> VHS did not try. <laughs> yeah. It's alright. He'll have his day. Congratulations to the 10 winners. My condolences to all the other not winners. You know, whatever we call those. <laughs> Did I even get in the right boat? I'm not sure. Snow Harbor, you thought of a funny? Welcome to Hacker Island! <laughs> Air base is over the mountain. Hacker Island, oh my god. We're back in, dude. I thought I was out, we're back in. <laughs> Football! Fuba! I love him! Look at that Fuba! Oh, nice knockback. Come here. 103. Come here. Die. Okay, so we need to re-equip... We need to re-equip the back bomb instead of the solar pack. That way I have access to my combo moves that use the bomb button. That should allow me to do this. You know, if my turn ever comes around. Oh, my run got disabled. Probably because we got frozen in place. I mean, I can still just bomb them from here, though. Oh, that's not that much damage. They don't seem to threaten us much either, though. We just gotta wait for our own stop to run out. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be silly with these weapons. We got some good weapons now. <laughs> we don't even have to move in to physically hit them. We can just teleport in. Please stop throwing footballs at me. I'm very scared. Oh no! They're resistant to that! Easy enough. Things are starting to drop so many megs now when we win. Dropped a shield too. Put Gorf in. I can just throw hammers from full screen. 
46, that's not bad. But it could be better. We're gonna have to raise his power a bit. We have a 1 in 8 chance to crit with this punch. The level 9 punch 3. Every time it does crit, whatever we're aiming at is most likely dead. Unless it is a boss. Yeet! In general, most enemies from now on will be dying in one hit. Scavenger Jackal! Thank you for the 35 all years! He built. Oh no, he lived. 19! Gotta get out of here. Sanford and Sonius! They were the huge raid! How are things? How did your stream go? What were y'all up to? We're still robo trekking. We should be able to finish this game today. Hell Divers 2. I didn't even know that there was a Hell Divers 1 before Hell Divers 2 happened. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> that game does look very fun. Magicka? Yeah. I've I've played Magicka somewhat. I've never streamed it, but I've 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 dabbled. Uh-oh, sound the Gary alarm. We accidentally said the word hell divers. There we go. Fine with that setup. We should kill everything we see. It is tactically sound to gain EXP while it is easy to do so. There's no one here! I believe you. Why would the sign lie to me? They wouldn't. Ergo, there's nobody here. Doesn't open. The items don't open. I've been scammed. If Hell Divers 2 is so great, why isn't there a Hell Divers 2 Turbo? True. More like Smell Divers. Heaven Razor. If Hell Diver 2 is so good, why is there no Hell Diver 3 then? It's a good huh? question. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Take it back. I'm sorry, Gary. I didn't mean it. I was just kidding. What? Are you a hacker? I was a hacker soldier, but I heard something awful. I got scared and ran. The hackers have built a terrible laser weapon in order to take over this planet. I had no idea they had such a terrible plan in mind. It makes me shudder. You should have the jewel box that's in this cave. Open it up. I don't want it anymore. You got it. Bomb three, dude. Let's fucking go. There is one caveat to bombs. Ooh, Boots 3. Boots 3? I don't think I have a Boots 3. Uh... Yeah, tell you what, T260, you can take those. Yeah, we skipped Bomb 2 entirely. There is one caveat with bombs. You cannot duct tape them together to power them up like the other weapons. 
which means we must hit capsules to level up the bomb. That is the one caveat with those. Which means we should put T260 back in the front so that we can try and get some of those level ups. Yeah, <laughs> inaccurate to reality. Ah, what if we got it first try? I would have popped off. How much damage is this gonna do? Woo! Too much. He liquefied. That's just unnecessary to do that much. Yeah, I think we got him. Just barely. How does the bomb look? Oh, it's like an ice bomb. Very good. You fool. Why would you close the distance? <laughs> 241, what a crit. Yeah, axes also have a crit chance, but it's like one third the chance of the punch weapon. It's not nearly as reliable. Let's try and get some bomb upgrades. There's no easy way to do this. We gotta smack capsules again. To be honest, though, the bombs are pretty... negligible. You can usually ignore them. But we do plan on keeping a shield in the offhand instead of a gun. So it's probably wise to power up our bombs somewhat. Found big bomb. That's not quite what we're looking for. Oh no, they're resistant to that. I regret keeping my charge at only 24. Look at all these free turns they get. What genre would you describe that music as? Excluding the clown music memes. Like, actually, what genre is that? Is it like big band? What is, what, what is this? Yeah, Looney Tunes. It's definitely not a polka. <laughs> That's definitely not right. Fuck. Surely the other one, though. Surely. Fuck. I'll take you both out. I didn't realize how good RXR was. It's so much better than I thought it was. It's absurd. To next, we're going to the hacker base. <laughs> Blomby music, you're not wrong. 
Oh, he's making a little snowman. This is the hacker airbase, but the planes are all gone, so everyone's got free time. Good for you. Look at him having fun. I love him. <laughs> oh no. RPG dungeons with foreground obstructions? Am I in Fantasy Star 2 again? I can't go back. Nice crit. More than happy to fight all of the security. I'll just, I'll, I'm totally content to just kill all of you. We need the, we need the experience. This is the one. Huh! Never mind. Yeah, no hidden teleporters. Fantasy Star 2's dungeon design almost requires you to, like, map that shit out. Like, you gotta, you gotta whip out the graph paper or you got no shot. Do you know Dr. A Akihabara? Maybe it's him. Maybe not. The blimp designer is around somewhere. Lots of blimps are made in Welcome this factory, to too. Tom-san, thank you for the follow. Everyone went to the tower to plan strategy. I was a blimp repairman, but the hackers kidnapped me and brought me here. If you oppose them, they erase your memory. That's what I've heard, so I just do my job. <gasps> Probably shouldn't leave keys lying around like this. In a little gotcha capsule. Yeah, it's just in the middle of the room. Equip level up. Fuck. John Very music genres. There are actually a lot of music genres you'd never think actually existed, but are indeed real. That is true. The Robo Trek battle theme. Money. So I heard you're not a fan of me. I'm sorry that you lack the musical taste and the high IQ to fully appreciate me. I'm you actually... Simpleton. I'm actually quite fine with this music, I'll be real. If the if this battle theme's committed any crime, it's that it's like a two-second loop. Forest synth, dirt step, grass gaze, dirt step, flower violence, <laughs> shroom and bass, mushroom house, moss rock, shiny rock, garden core, cavern shiny core, rock, wave, bird song, whistle choir, subterranean folk. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you there, friend. That yeah, looks, looks like it's gonna go for a while. I'm gonna stop you right there, friend. Thank you for the two dollar dues. <laughs> I'm definitely not putting up with more than one donation of that. Reg! Thank you for the huge raid. Where are we all up to? We were actually looking up music genres in the Discord the other day. That's when I learned about math rock. I, I still don't quite know what math rock is, but the name greatly tickled, greatly tickled me. No one can come in here except soldiers. Get out! Get out! Uh... That's all right. What about a mouse? Would you let a mouse in? Yeah, I thought so. We don't have anything for you. Go away! All right, let's un-mouse. Someone called you here for the execution? You'd better take a seat, it's about to start. You got it. I recognize that crab. You're the hacker's greatest soldiers. I've gathered you all together to tell you something. 
this former leader divulged confidential information and betrayed us. So we'll boil him. And after it's over, we'll all have a little taste. Oh, please forgive me. My kind doesn't taste very good. Yeah, we must save the crab. You are my master, aren't you? Save me. You got it. Hey, you, aren't you the fugitive inventor? They didn't realize this until just now. Just like a moth to a flame, everyone, before we eat, we'll do our exercises. Get him! Not too worried about it. Why did those, like, ten soldiers manifest as one soldier? I'm sorry, Master, I worry about you so much, and I've been a burden to you. I thought I'd give this to you. I used to use it when I was the leader of the hackers. Got the leader's badge, finally! Finally, some validation in my life. Now the leader's room is accessible. You can get in with this. I'd go with you if I could, but I'd be a burden again. Master, press on. You got it. Here I go. Ahead, the latest blimp is being developed. Only leaders class level can get in. How convenient. Shows my badge. What? Oh, you're a leader. I'm very sorry. Please go on in. It's just that easy. We're never gonna level up this bomb, are we? We're never gonna get another equipment level up. Oh wait, they self-destruct! These are the guys that self-destruct, aren't they? Oh, but I can't change. My my change command's been disabled. What if I bomb him from way out here? That only did six damage. If I stand here and then do RXR, I should be far enough away. Oh, but it missed! I'm having tremendous difficulty killing this tiny creature. It's alright. We just need somebody with the right weapon. Like this hammer! Yeet! There we go. Always give your robots different equipment. You will find that certain enemy types are uh, extremely weak to certain things. You want to spread out your types of damage output. If you have too much of the same one, you're going to get hard-walled by certain enemies. We got a little bit of everything at the moment. We have blunt weapons, we've, we've got bladed weapons, we have lightning, we have an ice bomb. He lived! But he missed! <laughs> he couldn't move far enough. We should be pretty close to another level up, I think. The design room. Nice TV in the back. Nice TV and keyboard. <laughs> what? Dr. Akihabara? You're his son? He's been taken to the tower. Try looking there. Your father told me about you, but the tower is only accessible from the air. I have a child, too. Carl is his name, so I know how you feel. I'll do what I can. What? Carl? You know him? Oh, you're from Rococo. Is he alright? Has he been a good boy? I'll write a letter. Will you deliver it? You got it. Carl was the one who helped us bust into the sewers. 
Dear Carl, how are you? I'm sorry I disappeared. I was kidnapped by evil people and forced to work. I can't help worrying about you and your mother. I don't know when I can come home. You're the man of the house now. Please take this letter to him. I know it's a hard time for you, too. Sorry to put you out. <laughs> Carl Sagan. The very same. Honestly, wouldn't be too ridiculous. We've already seen an Einstein in this game. Wouldn't be that much of a stretch. Rival schools adjacent announcement. What is this? Let me see. Schoolyard Royale. This is for Teppin. Yeah? That tracks. Their mobile games cross over with a lot of shit. Like there are put D note noises on screen. I don't actually remember that. How could he do this to me? <laughs> He's a sneaky one, that Lythero. Sadly, there is no escape rope in this game. We have to run all the way out when we need to leave a place, such as now. Thankfully, this place ain't that big. Do I got these jukes? Let's go! Meanwhile... <laughs> He's up to three snowmen now. I've got lots of free time, so I made some more. I love him. <laughs> He's living his best life over here. When we showed up, he only had the one snowman. He's been hard at work. That's good! So now we gotta go all the way back to town, deliver that letter. It's still raining over that village. I wonder if that's fine. I wonder if they're fine with that. Maybe I should put the weather back. So just pipe sound for a redeem. That is not a bad idea. That's not the worst idea. Every time a new sound idea comes across my desk, though, I have to do the obvious math of how much can I trust a chat room of a few hundred people with this shiny toy. Right? <laughs> The answer is, unfortunately, 0%. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Where is Carl? No. Which house is Carl's house? That is not Carl's house. No. His house couldn't have gone too far. Oh, there it is. He's my next door neighbor. Got it. What is it? What? You met my father? Don't play games with me. My father left my mother and me a long time ago. What are you talking about? I have a letter for you, child. What? A letter? 
Ooh. Kidnapped or not, he just disappeared. You came back just to give me this letter? People like you are very kind, pink text. Thank you. <laughs> he went out to get bread and eggs, yeah. I didn't have any paper, so I wrote on this. Please give it to him. The Litho! You may recall this is what uh, Carl got earlier from the cave when we got like a garbage ass scrap item and then he got that instead. Now we equip that and we go all the way back. Oh boy. Yeah, time to hustle. At least that's a pretty small area, right? It's not... It's not that big. Make sure T260 is in the front again, because we still have to level up this bomb. Or at least try to. We gotta level it up somewhat. What is the actual strength? What is the strength potential? So at level 1, it has 28 attack. Maxed out, it'd have 106. The other bomb is maxed at 50. The boat goes on its own. We do not control the boat. It would be nice, though, I agree. <laughs> He's up to four snowmen! I've got lots of free time, so I made some more! Look at him! Look at him go! <laughs> this is the best running joke in the whole game. He just keeps making more snowmen. Love that guy. Yeah, it's the best character in the game. Level up my bomb! Shit! This one for sure. Huh. Fuck. You called for backup, you fool. Now they're all dead. His death is on your hands, I'm afraid. All right, what's the play here? The play is probably to raise speed a bit. We never want to be in a situation where, five seven, by the way, we never want to be in a situation where they have more speed than us because it increases the chance that we can miss. Uh, all power. Nah, we don't need more charge. Most of the time when we hit shit, it dies, right? Charge would only be particularly useful to us in boss fights. Because our actual equipment is so good right now that everything just explodes when we hit it. So how much fuel it costs is kind of... Doesn't matter. Hey, wait, you turn! Bruh. There's four toilets. There's so many toilets. I don't need to wait to use yours. <laughs> when to take a peek. <laughs> it's true. I don't think that a bomb would kill here. Oh, it did. I'm shocked. 
it's like $150 a copy. Sheesh. No, old games collecting is a pretty expensive endeavor these days. Flummoxed? Never flummoxed. Never been flummoxed in my whole life. That's not true. That's not remotely true. Here's a piece of paper for you. To me, from Carl! Ultimo. Waiting for the gods to go. Whose footprints are these? <laughs> Honestly, I, I would be... I would not be surprised if that was a mechanic in here. With all the footprints we'd been leaving. Just like him to write on something like this. Thank you for the 100 bits, Ultimo. Huh? Where'd this come from? It's a blueprint! Hey, it's the plans for an engine! I might be able to use these. Maybe I can return the favor someday. Work hard! We sure do, Einzaki. At last, the blimp is done! I'll give it to you. Use it to help you find your father quickly. I'm going to crush this empty water bottle. Uh, don't panic. I have obtained another water bottle. There we go. To call the blimp... <clears throat> to call the blimp, equip it and push the Y button. Go ahead, try it out. You got it. Equip blimp. <laughs> Crush the full wood by mistake, yeah. So, unlike the boat, this we do get to fly around. We get to manually pilot this one, which means there's all these places that we are now able to go that we couldn't reach previously. Yeah, island. We eloped! Everything was fine until we came to live on this island. Now she has a terrible fever. On some island, a fever flower grows, I've heard. I can't leave her side to go out and look for it. You got it. You got it. Find a fever flower. It's a very speedy blimp, yeah. Go to the other island, directly adjacent to the one we were just on. <gasps> oh shit, it's Dr. Einst! Oh, it's you! Get out, get out! An awful thing happened to me because of you! The ship was wrecked. It was a remote island. No materials to repair it. Like salt in my wounds! So he just ended up here. <laughs> what, you're looking for the fever flower? Then bring me the ship parts. I'm missing scrap seven. If you can arrange that, I'll listen to you. Do I have... I do have a scrap seven. Well, that's convenient. That's scrap seven? Give it to me, bring it over here. What? The fever flower? It might not work, but it grows under the tree behind this house. Help yourself. All right, now I can get off this remote island. Okay, I'm not trying to run away. If the user wants, I'll be back with an exciting new plan. Until then, see ya! wah -ha -ha. Good. Do any of these boxes have anything? Yeah, the user. Perhaps he's talking directly to the player. It's unclear. We'll never know. Tree behind house. There you are. Secretly a Tron game? We haven't even gone to cyberspace yet. Do the glasses do anything anymore? Yes. We can use them to see things that are invisible. Invisible. Although, there's not much in the game that fits that description. 
could that be the fever flower? Thank you, I'll have her drink it. Yeah, good. Excellent. Just drink a flower. We don't have very much money, but I'll always be grateful to you. Three thousand dollars! Yeah, drink your flowers, chat room. Don't forget to drink your flowers. I'll make medicine, thank you! I'd buy that for a dollar! I think if we go right back in, she's already cured, right? <laughs> yeah, she's already up, that was quick! Thanks to you, I've recovered completely! That's some fast-acting medicine. In my fever, I dreamed about my childhood days. I dreamed about my father taking care of me when I was sick. Father worried about me, but I had such a dream. Strange. That's some good medicine. Thanks to you, she's recovered completely. It's payment for being bad to her parents. How do I get out of here? Wait, I was supposed to use the blimp. Wait. Wait, I'm stuck. <laughs> Mountain stuck. <laughs> there we go. That begs the question, how the hell did they get there? Uh, you. I've not been to chicken farm! Rotten eggs go into the trash. <laughs> I'm so unhappy. My pretty Katrina. Oh, it's my chicken's name. But she's not here. What do you mean? KFC new location. Chimkin. Chimkin? Cluck. Wait. I can speak chicken if I equip my relay. Oh. Oh, you're following me. Feed me! Chicken. Chicken. They all have quite similar things chicken. to say. Chicken. Uh, chicken, I was not chicken. able to bring that in the house. Chicken, Yo, what's up, Lone Mouse chicken, Wolf? Chicken. Wait. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> this tile right here, I cannot move past this tile. There's a chicken here! What? He's fussing about me again. He's always like that. I just went for a walk. Hidden chicken, can't believe it. Katrina, where are you? I will, I'm worried about you. You found her. Chicken. Thank you. I'll give you something. Katrina picked this up from somewhere. I'll give it to you to show my gratitude. We got the blade, too. Blade weapons are... Chicken. They're okay. They're all right. Yeah, why was Chimkin Chicken. holding that? That is the question. <laughs> Blades are... They're okay. I don't mind them. This one goes up to 35, which is pretty bad, but the, the highest... The highest tier blade, Chicken. I think it goes up to, like, Blade 4. That one's pretty fucking good. But it has the same problem as the bomb, where the capsules are the only way to power them up. You can't just attach more blades to it. And so it kind of becomes a hassle that way. And, as Einzaki in chat has mentioned, the axe already exists. So it's like, why would I do that? We can, however, sell it for cash money. Wait. Wasn't there... I think there was another book to read, right? Wasn't there a book we weren't smart enough to read? No, that's not it. 
Weren't there a smart boy book in here? There you are. Learned how to make repair! Several books, many of us are not smart enough to read. I struggle with the kids' books. I wouldn't stand a chance with a proper novel. My go-to when I was a kid was, uh, The Stinky Cheese Man and other fairly stupid tales. That was... that was the go-to for young Dino to read. Scrap A, scrap 2, scrap 4, 5, and 6. I don't think we have much use for these. Scrap 5, I don't even know what scrap 5 is for. Let me just try to combine these into some shit. Uh, where's my combiner? Let me just throw some scrap together. 5 and 6? No. Five and four. Five and two. None of these scraps go together. That makes a Celtis. That is not helpful. <laughs> Fair enough. There is one other thing. There is one other thing that we can uh, purchase. There's one other place we can purchase items from. And we did ignore it at the time. But if we so desire, there is a shop right here at the very start of the sewers. It doesn't look like a shop, though. So I wouldn't blame anyone for not knowing that there is a shop there. This shop in particular is run by a rat. <laughs> Equip your relay. And the rat is the only mouse doing business around here. I sell junk! <laughs> Look at that, he sells a bunch of scrap for us. Let's buy a few scrap sevens. I think. Yeah, I think scrap seven. I think we want a few of these. Scrap seven is the one that unlocks most of the laser type weapons. And we do want a laser gun. They're pretty expensive, yeah. But they're expensive for a reason. Being mouse changes dialogue? I don't think so, sadly. I could be wrong. It is good scrap, yeah. We should be able to make, like, a level 3 laser with all that. Laser was, uh... I know we needed Scrap 7 for it. I am holding a laser already. It's like... it's Scrap 7 is like the laser... It's just the laser one. It's the laser scrap. So if I put it on top of my laser... Yeah, it becomes laser 2. And then if we throw another Scrap 7 on top of that, we can get the best one, which is laser 3. There we go. Yeah, laser only goes up to three. We now have a laser gun. We can also... I think we can also make a turbo pack. We just barely have enough money to make a turbo pack. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. The turbo pack is the funniest item in the game. It does exactly what it sounds like. Whoever you equip the turbo pack to will suddenly be moving at breakneck speed. We'll give Bobo the laser gun, I suppose. That's gonna lower his guard somewhat, but that's okay. I 
can't level up the bomb and have the turbo pack equipped at the same time, sadly. But I could level up the laser if I... Oh, you know what? Let me swap their ranged weapons around. Let me give Gorf the laser. And I'll give Bobo the Celtis. That way, Gorf has the laser pack and the punch. That way I can just kind of punch shit with him at mock speed. There we go. <laughs> Cease your useless babble boy! Yeah, exactly. There we go. We also have plenty of shit we can sell if we need to. Where are we actually headed, though? We were actually headed towards the air base. We should save first. Game is save. Where is my blimp? F-Zero track in Thug Pro. The one I posted in Discord, that was a uh, speed highway from Sonic Adventure. Yeah, this is where we're trying to get right here. The air fortress. We couldn't reach it on foot. Now I need to equip the transceiver. And then we save here. There we go. So the turbo pack does exactly what it sounds like, right? <laughs> Ludicrous speed. Whoa, what a shot! Laser gun. So that's our laser that we just made. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Is it called Tower of Babel because the people who built it had their speech replaced with nonsensical babble? I think so, yeah. I thought that was the lore. Is that not the lore? I thought that was it. I may have misread the lore. That's okay. Thank you for the dollar I do. I have to use a clean. There we go. Oh, uh, flashing lights warning in this place. There are some rainbow flashing television screens like that. Just a general flashing lights warning. What are you doing here? <clears throat> the meeting room is in use. I'm guarding it so no one gets in. What? It's stupid not to guard the doors? You're right. Thanks for telling me. Good point. True. <laughs> we got scrap three for that. Excellent. <coughs> How did that work? We're just that damn good. Hey, you. There's a meeting going on. Suspicious lads like you can't pass. Fair enough. Meeting room is in use, yep. Oh, it doesn't work on him. Gotta show them your badge. Your leader badge. You. You were in the leader's class. I'm so sorry. Go on in. Here's our dad over here. What? Father? I'm footloose and fancy free. I don't know guys like you. Go away, kid. You bother me. I'm one of the hacker scientists, Dr. Akihabara. So he's brainwashed at the moment. If I say I don't know you, I don't know you. You got it, sir. Hey, guys, listen. Thanks to you, we've gathered three Tetron. This is a real start. We'll show our power by occupying Quintinix, and we have a new weapon! 
Okay, guys, let's go for it. This is a good chance to show our power to the people on our home planet. <laughs> we just get pulled out of the room. Celtus 2. We do not need that. Was there anything else of value in here? No. Yeah, pumpkin head. Who you call it, pumpkin head? Die. <laughs> That's not going to get old anytime soon. Just vaporize them the instant the fight starts. It's always funny. Wait, I need that capsule. We are taking some hits, though. Fortunately, I have 14 cures. He couldn't reach. Oh, that one good. Energy restored. That's not quite what I'm looking for. What a big whiff! I hit the wrong button. What a blunder. He's throwing. Sorry, we fixed it. Fixed it, saved it. <laughs> Kill that guy from full screen. Hundred twenty. <laughs> this game's balanced. Don't let anyone try to convince you this game's not balanced. It's super balanced. Hey, there we go. Leveled up our laser by one. I miss! Oh, I gotta swap, dude. But I can't swap. My ability to swap has been disabled. Help. Thank God he ran away. Oh, no! What a big whiff. I don't suppose I could gain some cheeky level ups for my bomb next. Do I have a key? I do not. We must obtain a key. Where am I gonna obtain a key? This way, perhaps. Oh, we gotta get upstairs here. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get to this top floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I do that? How do I get over there? Let's figure that out. I need that capsule. The capsule is mine. Huh. Fuck.
I see, this is a door. The doors in this game can be hard to spot. <laughs> yeah, invent a ladder. It's just that simple. Gotcha pawn addiction couldn't be me. Five! That's not great. I can just tank the explosion. It's a perfect plan. I blocked the self destruct! Let's fucking go. Enormous block. Huge block. He's got a bazooka. Not too worried about it. Oh, give me that. $1,000 e-dues. We actually don't have that much function for money at the moment. Oh, that one hurt. We got crit. It is more for later, yeah. For sure. Another locked door. There is a mouse hole here. Yeah, that crit for most of our HP. But that's why revival items are extremely easy to get. Hey, Doc, the Tetron doesn't work. What's wrong with it? It's obvious that this isn't just a normal stone. It's not perfected yet. It's still missing a part. It's missing a part? Is there some technique? He... he's useless! He doesn't understand. I will let you see it. My plan was to get the jump on the home planet. If I don't understand this power, it's all in vain. Stop it, I won't ask you again. Hey, is someone there? No, just a mouse. Take him away. The laser's finished. I don't need him anymore. I'll throw him out with the trash. All right, we're going to have to go save our father. <laughs> okay. Is the Tetron still not clear? I can't rely on him for the Tetron. It's too important. An impatient man. The Tetron will be investigated further. An unusual mouse! His goofy face reminds me of that boy! What boy? That's an unforgivable line. That's a secret. Let's go, I want to finish this before the home planet gets wind of it. That certainly was a normal conversation between two characters. He is get. Also, books! Oh, learned how to make shield three! Power pack, good. good. Knowledge. I already have the information on how to make that one. Alright, key is get. Where was that locked door? Oh my god, get swerved. Fuck. <laughs> I tried to juke him. He called for help! You fool! Now they're both dead. I do like his game plan of uh, calling for help and then immediately running away. That's pretty good. Used key. 1200 GP.
No! Oh, I'm alive. I cannot reach from here. The axe goes pretty far, but not that far. Fourteen. Gorf is dead. I can't believe it. I suspect we're extremely close to a level up. Eighteen megs away? That's not too bad. Put Bobo in the front. Yeah, he's super dead. It's alright. He'll get over it. <laughs> oh, maybe Celtis's can't open capsules. Not that we really need them to with this guy anyway. Oh, all three of you are fucked. He lived! If anyone's curious why we're facing the wrong way. Whenever both characters that take uh, part in an attack are facing the same way, the game assumes that you've done a back attack. Because why else would both of you be facing the same way unless you had snuck up behind him? So if for some reason you have a weapon that can hit the entire screen while facing the same way as them, it counts as a back attack even from full screen. <laughs> and thus you receive bonus damage from a full screen. Yeah, it's a GG's shake my hand. There's a lot of weapons in this game that have, you know, some manner of silliness like that. Rip. <laughs> the speedrun strat. I've seen, I skimmed the PJ speedrun. Like, before the first episode of this. I had skimmed it because I wanted to see what the speed strats were. My brain was too small to use them. Every game PJ runs is, is just the most enjoyable run to watch. Uh, what is this way? That goes upstairs. We don't want to... Let's clear out the floor that we're on first. Batman Forever 100%? Which one? Are we talking the arcade game? Or... I assume we're talking, like, SNES. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. Batman Forever, the arcade game is, I think, the greatest Batman game ever made. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Aha! There's our level up. Now we can... Revive him. We have the technology. Let's just go HP. Let's just do HP this level. Just HP as far as the eye can see. Feeling good about that. Yeah, Batman Forever, the arcade game. Between the two playable characters, Robin is by far the best. That is a lot of money. 
I can't wait to squander it on making lasers and such. We gotta swap T260 back in. See if we can't level up this bomb at all. We've still not been able to, really. We just have not gotten the the capsule RNG that we need. Hey, that's important research information! Don't touch it! My name is Dr. G. I'm a computer engineer. I programmed this whole hacker computer. Want to hear about my latest invention? I guess so. Okay, I'll tell you. A humans entering computers project is underway. First, a mouse experiment is necessary. But there's no mice here. Want to be my subject? So he just knows that I can turn into a mouse. That's fine. Nothing strange about that. Dr. G! A mouse! Don't talk nonsense. A mouse here? What? Hey! A present from above? Assistant A! A test! We'll use this mouse! Roger Wilco! A test! <laughs> yeah, just shove the mouse into the computer. Assistant A! Know the procedure? Yes, Dr. G. I fastened this to him. It's easier than washing your pants. Dino's ear has something attached. <laughs> Whoa! I'm in. We actually cannot go past these barriers because this is just the cyberspace test. So we just kind of walk in and walk back out. <laughs> Assistant A, look! The mouse came back! It's a was success. I'm sorry, it's a was success. Dr. G, congratulations. Quick, take the stuff off of him. Let's go into the computer. Yes, sir, Dr. G. It's easier than washing your pants. Mice are cute. <laughs> Good. Dino found a book. The Cyberjack was described there. Learned how to make Cyberjack. Now we can hack into computers ourselves. Let's make one of those. Let's make a Cyberjack ASAP. Cool. Cool, cool. Dr. G hasn't come out of the computer. Something happened in there? Maybe. Only one way to find out. There's my cyber jack. I'm going back in. Ah. No, there's still nothing we can do. Somehow they got past this, but I can't. Unbelievable. We're gonna have to hack into this mainframe from another location. I missed the door. I missed the door twice. Give me that capsule. No! My capsule, you bitch! Come here! You deserve that. Where was that other computer? There was a computer back this a ways. Oh my goodness, get finessed. There was a computer back this a way we could use.
that's how they get you in this game. They use a lot of hallways that are so thin that you do not have the space required to juke bad guys. You'd think that we could just go around, but they also have, like, they have a three-tile-wide hitbox, essentially. Here's the computer. Let's hack in. Let's jack in from here. Actually, I should save before we do that. Jack back out immediately. Save game, then jack in. I automatically jack in when I touch the computer. I tried to face upwards and then use my menu, but we have to avoid contact with it. It's automatic. You got it. Transceiver. Save game. Now we jack in. Let's try that again. Crystal? Another crystal? It looks like a teleport maze to me, gang. Ah. Yo, what's up, dubstep paladin? That's what the inside of my computer looks like. It must be. I can't refute this claim. It must be true. The internet itself is a teleport maze, especially if you don't have an ad blocker. You'll just get whisked away in any random direction. Oh, hey, I found them! Oh, listen. Dr. G blamed me for his getting lost. Sniff, poor me! Okay. Can I go around you? Hey, you! On the road! Are you ignoring me? I sure am. How did you get here? Well, that doesn't matter. I'm Dr. G. As a test, we came into the computer. But my stupid assistant can't find the exit. Can you lead me to my laboratory? You got it. What do you want? I'll decide when I get out. Give me the money. I want cash money, please. What? Money? I, I, I'll I pay you. Now let's go. Yes, sir. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Question is, how do we get back out? <laughs> I have no fucking clue where the exit is. Where does this one go? Oh no, we definitely lost him, don't worry, I'm not particularly... This is... somewhere else entirely. This is a book room. Oh, I learned how to make laser one! It was worth it! Where am I right now? Oh, I'm over here, gotcha. I am aware they're not following. Trust me. Oh no, Barf. <laughs> I can certainly support the idea of hitting the follow button. I cannot in good conscience command anyone to obliterate the subscribe button, because unlike the follow button, that one costs money. At least on Twitch.television. Yo, Zanza! Thank you for the Prime Gaming! 
It doesn't seem to have worked. <laughs> Gotta punt to 360p. I also usually watch streams, uh... I usually watch streams in 480p. I'm gonna be real with you. To be fair, most of the streams that I do watch are for old games anyway, so it's not like turning the quality up on the stream is gonna make them look any better. <laughs> right? It makes people's webcams look better. But it's much funnier to imagine that they're like a blurry 480p human being. Okay, so they do not follow me out of that room. <laughs> do you follow me if I go this way? You follow me if I go that way. Gotcha. Oh, we managed to get out. Okay, okay, I will keep my promise. Assistant A, do you have any money? What? What? My money? The assistant's money is the doctor's money. Give him all you have. I... I understand. I don't make much money. This is all I have. Well, now I'm the bad guy. Uh, Doc, Dr. G asked me to give you my money. If you give it back, I'll tell you about him. Yeah, you can have it back. I was just fooling. You can have your money back. Oh, thank you. Now I can pay my bills this month. In the mainframe, his memory is stored, but it's confidential. It should be protected. I'll give you these. The mainframe room will be accessible. It's Dr. G's secret. Don't worry, we're not going to take the guy's money that he needs for bills. <laughs> yeah, this game does make you feel bad for the mooks. Most of the mooks in this game, they're completely harmless. One of them was just building snowmen on the top of a mountain. He was just minding his own business. Yeah, this guy in danger of going bankrupt because the doc doesn't pay him enough. Dude, the mooks get it rough in this fucking game. I need to save. It's too noisy, I can't use the transceiver. What if I go out here? Now I can save. I'm not allowed to save in the other room, got it. So I think now I have to go upstairs. I think we're done on this floor. Question is, where were the stairs? <laughs> I don't remember where the stairs were. They couldn't have gone too far. Let's go find them. Four hundred and eighty-six damage. That seems reasonable. That is a computer. It's not quite what I'm aiming for. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you see what I mean? The halls in this game are not wide enough. Yeah, the stairs, they just up and left. We gotta track them down. With the weather we've been having, they could be anywhere. Could just be flying away in the wind. I 
I think that's right, Psycho. I think that is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to jack in in the lab and then jack out by the stairs. I think that is correct, yeah. I'm going back in. Gotta jam with the console cowboys in cyberspace. Except, that is a dead end, so we gotta find the other computer. That's the wrong computer. <laughs> uh, that's R&D up there. Excuse me. Pardon me. We had a jack in from that other computer. Found Big Bomb. We are never going to use it. Another Big Bomb. The good news is, every time we get a big bomb, we can sell it for another hundred gold. There is that. Yeah, we're just decking. The game is now Shadowrun. Honestly- oh, there's the stairs. I was wondering where those pesky stairs had ran off to. Can I get a single equipment level up? I cannot. We're never gonna level up this bomb. The bomb? It's dead to me. <laughs> oh, you're a big boy. You're a large boy. Why are you so big? How do you get so large? Face man! I love him. Oh no, I got confused. I take it back. I don't love him anymore. Eighty-one, what a crit! You fool, you've activated my trap card. Check this out. Yeah. Not so great when it happens to you, is it? Oh, dear lord, there's three of them. That's a problem. <gasps> if they- oh god, they have- why do they have such a high crit chance? That's insane. Alright, let's back up a little bit. Use a repair. Right? They did not proc the, confu the confusion. Let's see if they like lightning. Oh, they don't like lightning, okay. Those things ain't so tough, then. We just zap them. You just gotta find that thing that they're weak to. How close are we to a level up? We're 27 megs away. That's far enough away that I'd rather just use a repair, then. We'll probably make, uh... That was a run attack, that wasn't lightning, yeah. That means we, um... Can easily just kill them with whatever, like as soon as the fight starts, pretty much. Hey, there we go! That's what we're looking for! If we ever end up back at the R&D room, we're gonna need to create some more repairs. I don't like having less than 10 of them, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> oh no! Inconvenient knockback! You know what? Die. Pushed me out of range of the capsule. You must die. Uh, 
Now, where would this be? What fresh hell is this? What made me pick out my names for my robos? T260 is a robot from Saga Frontier, one of my all-time favorite games. Gorf and Bobo sound funny. Hope that answers your question. <laughs> No, that's not a timer. That's a timer for uh, bullshit that don't matter. I will allow the timer to run out to illustrate that nothing happens. There you go. Timer is up and we're not dead. The timer affects two things. One, the acquisition of some extra EXP, but it's such a small amount at this point that it doesn't matter. And the capsules that are on the field also explode if you do not get to them in time. A frog race got redeemed. Oh boy, here I go killing again. What's up, Goaty? What's up, Lord Goaty? Use uh, a transceiver. Save game. Save. Game is a save. Which means it's time for the frog race. We got some good ones here. We got some good choices. Prediction going up. Place your bets now! Yeah, Forg from Streets. I think there is Chaos Fantasy. There's a dog, there's a dog frog, and then there's a dog the frog frog. Which ostensibly means that this dog is actually a dog and not a, a, a frog named Dog the Frog. Which means we should change his sprite to be an actual dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's giving Raycat more work. We can't do that. <laughs> All right, bets are in. What do you mean 24 24 26 26? What kind of what kind of bet hedging is this? Pretty evenly split. Best of luck, everyone. Who's got the lead? Frogs one and four have the early lead. One and four, who's it gonna be? El Dandy gets there first by a handful of I almost typed in slash El Dandy like it was gonna pay it out automatically. Here we go. Choose outcome. Frog number one. 337,000 new yen awarded to 11 lucky winners. The believers in L Dandy. Dandy stepped his way to victory. Congratulations, everybody who chose frog number one. My condolences to everybody who bet all the other frogs. You'll get them next time, I'm sure. You should continue to throw your new yen into the incinerator. That is uh, the frog race. You finally passed 200k. Oh shit, you could almost name a frog. What's the play, though? What's the play if you have 200k? It costs 250,000 new yen to name your own frog. Do you bet on the next frog race to try to get it? Or do you just, like, watch the stream and passively build up the 50k you need? What's the play? <laughs> I 
You're on 850k? Called for help! They're all dead. You're at 260k. You do have enough to name your own frog if you want. I don't want to say that race was rigged, but I saw El Dandy injecting Jumpium into their legs and consuming <laughs> springs, and now poor Sir Hop Salad is hopping up to that great big lily pad in the sky. <laughs> you, you saw El Dandy injecting Jumpium into their legs. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that serious. Oh no, I missed! Oh no! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that got a chuckle out of me. Thank you. I can't... I can't kill him from this range. If I try to kill him from this close, he's gonna self-destruct and I will die. I need to kill him from... from long range. Which means I need to move my ass out. Shoot him. There we go. He self-destructs in a big radius. You cannot kill him from close up. Fuck. What's down this way? That is more stairs. He's too wide. Too wide. Can't fit in between him. Got it. Yeah, door stuck. The problem is all the enemies are three tiles wide, right? So you'd think that if an enemy is standing like here, right? If they're going up and down like this, and I'm one tile over, you'd think I could squeak by, but no. They are three tiles wide, which means you have to give everyone hella clearance in order to get by them. Oh, the computer! Jack me in. Wait, save the game first. Now jack me in. I'm going in. I might want to equip the... I might want to equip a solar pack here. Solar pack is probably the play just for some passive regen. Frog legs? I haven't. Next time I play Armored Core, I can go reverse joints. Those are kind of froggy. We played all three of the Armored Core 1s, but we haven't streamed either of the Armored Core 2s yet. I suppose at some point we'll have to get around to those. As for frog legs, like, the dish, I don't think I've ever tried it. <laughs> who are you? I'm the electronic guard who protects this cyberspace. My name is Bug Bug. Hello, Bugless Bugless. What? Return the people's memory that I ate. We'll have to negotiate. Human memory tastes good. By the way, I'm hungry now. Let me taste your memory, too. Okay. So we don't need to worry about these capsules. <laughs> Cyberspace, no mind sweeping. All I've got is my axe. I've got the solar pack equipped. Question about the design of frog? Yeah, it includes the name. You get to choose how the frog looks, and you get to name it. I... I think we don't want to line up with him horizontally. What did that do? 15? That's not too bad. My solar pack can recharge most of that. Oh, what a whiff! That's why it's nice to have passive regen. 30! Okay, we got 14 back. Oh, you exposed your backside! You're cooked! Oh no, he got two in a row! Ugh. 
Fair enough. What if you redeem and draw the sprites yourself? You certainly could! I wouldn't stop you. Can I get a crit? No crit. No cheeky crits for me. Jesus Christ, this guy's damage is pretty good. All right, revive T260. A poem got redeemed. Let's try and get out of this boss fight first. Let's get both of them up. I'm fine with this. Guard. 15. The solar pack can recharge a lot of this. The passive regen helps a bit. Nice whiff. We just gotta chop them. We can't go for expensive moves. We just gotta kind of play the attrition game. Yo, got him. That wasn't too bad. That is the normal boss theme, yeah. Scoop the corpses off the ground. Okay. So what's the play here? I think we gotta raise speed a bit. Eh. 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 Eh? There we go. <laughs> I'm like, how do I arrange this where it doesn't look ugly? Wait. Wait. Perfect. <laughs> and then, because we have the recipe for these items now, uh, we have the recipe for, like, repairs now. It still costs 300, but we can just make our own. We don't have to go buy them at a shop. So we can just make a few of these. And we can sell our big bombs that we've been getting, because we're never going to use big bombs. And we're never going to use this smoke bomb either, which allows us to escape from a battle. Why would I do that? So let's make a few more repairs. Just a few. And then we will be good to go. And then we can hit that poem a button. If I'd had a faster management routine, I could have won. Bug, bug, bug. There he goes. Where am I now? Where would this be? Where am I going to jack out from? Where does this go? Where do any of these go? <laughs> okay, that's the top floor. Hold that thought. Hit the stampede button before I forget. Hey, stampede. How about a poem? The rain falls in frozen sheets. It hits my face with conviction. Drenched, I plod northward on foot. I swim in this stifling blackness, squinting to fend off the murderous deluge. Step by step, I cut the water wall, skirting the edge of the asphalt to maintain my bearings. The forest makes canyon walls to my left and right, 
Its ink black shape blots out all but the smallest crack of coal black sky. The rain on the pavement of this road sounds like an ovation. Mmm, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> Thank you, Stampede. It's one of my favorite poems of his. Yeah, thanks for the weather update. <laughs> this is, this is, yeah, this is where we jacked in from. And where would this be? That is a dead end. Good to know. And I cannot go into the Whamter. My options are limited. Where? We must have to keep going upstairs. I think that's down the stairs, though. What's up, Brodo Common? I have a solar pack equipped. All this damage you're dealing, I don't even see it. I don't even perceive this damage you're trying to deal. With this passive regen and the block? You're done in this town. It's fucking over for you. It's Coitons. Uh, but I do need to re-equip that bomb so I can maybe attempt to level it up somewhat. There is no easy way to level up a bomb. Unlike many of the other weapons in this game. Nope, that's the wrong way. Don't want to deal with Face Man again. No, we gotta find the other stairs. They must be down this way. I'll get swerved. Aha! Here we are. Those are the stairs we were looking for. <laughs> it is a good sprite, I agree. Oh no, the bomb is so expensive he got to go twice in a row. 636 damage from behind. Back attacks, I think they do 1.5 times the damage. Which means even raw, that would have did quite a bit. Thank you for not confusing me, I owe you my life. 744! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't think I've ever seen that much damage in this game. That is far too much! Oh no, I got confused. Not like this. What a block. What do you mean he lived? What do you mean he lived? Come here. Fuck. <laughs> I got confused again. Why are crits so crazy in this game? It's because they ignore all defense and resistance. Whenever you crit in this game, it always deals the maximum damage that that weapon would have done. So if they're resistant to something, does not matter. That was the wrong way. Up is where I'm supposed to go. What do you want? This isn't the trash room. The prisoners are in here. I can't let you in. Okay. Yeah, so if you get a back attack with it, it's even nuttier. You're new. What is your deal? Only five? Pushaw. Oh no, they're alive. Alright, tag me out. Tag me out, Captain. 
Gimme out. Oh, they blocked! Better plan. I have a better plan. I'm gonna use my lightning from full screen. I'm gonna face the other way so it counts as a back attack. They seem... They seem to be resistant to lightning somewhat. Oh god. I've revealed my back to them. That was a bad call. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead, baby girl. Alright, fair enough. Coming in. Hey. Okay, those guys are pretty tough. We're gaining levels quite rapidly, though. More power! Invest in more power. Buy low, sell high. Even the corpse. Raise the corpse's power. Let's get rid of some of these cleans. Just some of them. They're clogging precious inventory space. Pixie. Oh, nice jump attack! Guard. I'm not fireproof. But you're not axe proof. Where is this? Where is anything? Five thousand dollar dues. I cannot believe we're filthy, stinking rich. Yeah, he teleports in front of everyone with a battle axe. Usually you have to walk up close to them. But if you use your special moves like that, they can just do it from wherever. Two thousand more dollar dues. I'm not holding a key, right? Okay, I'm just making sure. Pockets overflowing with all this money. I simply cannot hold another coin. Fuck. Oh. I've been using run combos on him because I'm like, oh, it's the only way to deal damage. When actually I can just cut him down where he stands with a normal attack. I'm in considerably less danger. There are prisoners in here I can't let you in. Do you respond to the leader badge? Is the leader badge what you want? What? Your real father is in here. You've been separated and his memory's gone. Oh, too bad. I get emotional when I hear a story like that. I'm somebody's child, too. I'll take you to your father. I won't say anything to Blackmore. D bro, the mooks in this game are just so lovable. <laughs> Be strong! Go for it! Carpe Diem sees the day! I love him. That's my- that's my goat right there. Books? Inventor's friend level 26? Learned how to make blade? Yeah, carpet? What? We'll never know. Hold on, I want to read this one as a mouse. So you get the mouse reading a book sprite. Learned how to make blade too!
What? What have I done? Dino? It's all coming back to me. I did something bad. Listen to me, even though I lost my memory. I'm afraid I've made a terrible thing. But you don't remember, though. You've lost your memory, as was established at the start of the sentence. I made a very powerful new laser. They're thinking of targeting Rococo. If that's true, Rococo's in danger. Quick, follow me! Not in any particular hurry, is he? Uh-oh, ooh. Hey, Pops, how do you get past the Armored Knights? <laughs> Whoa! Ah, oh, that's what we like to see. You know what? Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> the footsteps on the stairs, yeah. You move so much slower on the stairs, too. Free shit? I love free shit. For moi? What? I ran into an invisible guy! Who the hell are you? Yeah, that's right, you better miss. 36! I was blocking! Die. 782! <laughs> oh god, he's good! You know what? Die. Nope. You're done in this town. God is goofy ass. Yeah, invisible enemies? Oh no, there was more than one! They were invisible! <laughs> what was that? Hey! I'll take that. 47. Oh, there's not enough room to get behind him. Can I just... How... Do you like laser? Oh, okay, you're kind of resistant to laser. Oh, I'm so dead. He missed! 598. You know, that's what he deserved. He deserved that for ambushing me by being invisible. It's only fair that we destroy his entire bloodline with that critical hit. There is an item in the Whamter. Hmm. No, but what's this way, though? No, but what's this way, though, Pops? Aha! Scrap 9? Yeah, the invisible enemies are usually pretty dangerous. Yeah, if we had used the glasses, we could have saw them. That is true. What is... What is this way? Waterworks. Aha! Wham tur turned off. Can I jack in from here? I cannot. Use the subscribe button. Oh no, they're invisible here too. Maybe we really do need the glasses. That seems to be the theme all of a sudden. That does not seem to help. Hell no, that doesn't help. Okay.
the glasses, they do nothing. They do look very cool, though. <laughs> oh. Oh. They're just teleporting in from everywhere. Hey, I have that weapon. Mine does a little more damage than yours. All right, let's go see what our let's go see what our dad wanted. Whew. Hallway literally not big enough <laughs> to dodge around him. We must hold that. <laughs> I tried to juke him. Xeno Saga if it was more fucked up? I feel like every game is Xeno Saga if it was less fucked up. I don't think you can get more fucked up than Xeno Saga. Are you okay? I will destroy the laser in this room. You push the waterway drain switch in the down arrow room. The path to the tower where Blackmore is lies there. I've already done it. Are you okay? I'll destroy the laser in the- I've already hit the switch. I'm counting on you. Oh, I see. So he goes in to... Ah, I see, I see, I see. This is the laser system room. I'll work on it, but it'll take some time. Call the Tetron. Okay, so now at least we can grab the shit that's in the water. Many fucked up and super dank RPG Maker games. That is probably true. As much of an old games enthusiast as I am, I have to admit that there is a huge gaping hole in my video game knowledge, and that is RPG Maker games, uh, Dojin games, stuff that's like, you know, just fan made generally, Mugen. Any, any of that kind of stuff? Usually I focus on, like, the commercially released games, and so there's just this huge... There's just this huge black hole of shit that I don't know and have never seen before. But that's why I always say, there's so many game, and no many time. Mugen stream when? That's actually already happened. We had T5 on for that episode. <laughs> we actually did. There was a T5 Mugen stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since T5's been on this channel. I should drag him along for something. So is all the water? If all the water is gone, that means we can probably go back upstairs, because there was probably more shit. Have I played Pirates of Dank Water? I have. Yes. Nothing excess, uh, nothing excess was on for that one. <laughs> that was another guest stream. Metal Max 2 fully translated, the DS one is. I don't think the original is just yet. I imagine you can just kind of copy-paste that text over, though, right? <laughs>
Now I need to get back upstairs, but I don't remember where upstairs is. I feel like this is not the correct way. I feel like this is where the fucking water switch was. I could be wrong. I greatly enjoyed Metal Saga, yeah. Other than Saga Frontier... <clears throat> other than Saga Frontier, which was like seven... two stream episodes, right? It was, uh, it was seven pairs of streams, so that's probably the most time we've spent on anything. But Metal Max is probably the longest we've spent on one singular plotline kind of a game. That was, uh, I think it was nine episodes. I had never, I'd never done nine parts to a single game before. <laughs> Did I get through all the metal dogs? I have. Not on stream, but... We could get to it. We certainly could. I need to get back downstairs. I don't remember where the stairs are. <clears throat> Yeah, even the B2 Manta Ray podcast. If we had cut out the B2 Manta Ray part of that stream, we could have banged that out in like seven episodes. <laughs> Saga 2 went for a while. Yeah, the DS one. <coughs> we have to play Saga 3 DS. That'll probably happen sometime this year. Continuing the time-honored tradition of playing some saga every year. That'll probably be the one we do this year. It'll probably be Saga 3 DS. But we have to play the Game Boy one again first. So that we have a point of comparison between the two. Whoops, that's the wrong move. Did I play the Wonder Swan color one? I sure did. Yo, it's a polar bear. What games should you buy for your PlayStation 2? Chain Dive. Uh, a second copy of Chain Dive. Let me see. A third copy of Chain Dive. I think you're good. I think that's all you need. I hope that's... hope that answers your question. I think you're good to go. Forgot to mention... Uh, yeah, Chain Dive! Yeah, you're right. Fucking slipped my mind. Thank you. I would say Metal Saga. Yeah. Please sell Chain Dive to me. Uh, I could probably dig up my tweet about it. Let me see. I'm sorry. You gotta. You have to hear clown music while I dig this up. Oh, there we go. Alright, ab abort the clown music. That's very loud. Hold on. Alright, so this is in, uh... Is an incredibly low-res... Uh, hit browser button? Here we go. You have an incredibly small window. Here's the, here's the clip I posted on Twitter, though. That's all you get. <laughs> you should play Chain Dive. It's pretty good. What game is this, or what game is the one you just saw? The one in that clip was Chain Dive for the PS2. The one we're playing right now is Robo Trek for the Super Nintendo. Let's get everybody up to, like, 70. Let's get everyone up to, like, 70 base.
70 base is a good... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it this way. Alright, everyone's got, like, base 70 for all their shit, except charge, which, frankly, we can leave that at 24. Heard everyone move to Mastodon? I can't be bothered. I don't use social media enough to care where I post things. There was a period of time where I intentionally went out of my way to not tweet out that I was streaming, right? Just to see if it affected how many people showed up, and it really didn't. So I'm like, all right, guess it doesn't matter <laughs> whether I tweet or not. <laughs> And I'm not nearly online enough to care about, you know, whatever bad decisions elongated muskrat is doing. I already you I I sigh I log into Twitter like twice a day. <laughs> it's, it's like I don't care what's happening over there. But yeah, uh, I find it's probably self-care to... Look at that. Uh, dumpster fire. As little as possible. Everyone's at 70 hit points. That feels good. 26! We gotta pump those numbers up. <laughs> tweeted a bot stream here for the first time. Yeah. I used to get really elaborate with it. I had like a I had to make a different gif for every stream. It's like, look at this curated gif that shows everything that we're about to play. And then I was just like, why? Why am I doing this? This is way too much. <laughs> This takes like a half an hour to do before every stream. And then there's still all the other prep I have to do. <laughs> I gotta cut this out of my routine. This is taking too much time. Nobody seems to mind, so that's nice. <laughs> Uh-oh. 29! Oh god, he went twice! Help. Said something about... Yeah, that's true! When I first started streaming, that is true. When I first started streaming, I did not tweet out at all that I was streaming, because I was... At the time, I was all in on tweeting, like, fighting game... Jank fighting game uh, misbehavior and bugs and haha -ha funnies and such that I didn't tweet about my streams because I'm a hundred percent sure somebody would be like why are you streaming this stream Marvel one do a glitch what are you doing and as much as a fan of fighting games as I am as much as fighting games are one of my absolute favorite genres on the planet Earth. I am more broadly a fan of all of the video games. <laughs> and so that's why we stream all the video games instead of just the fighty ones. Yeah, do a retro game. You got it. What's a good retro game? What's a retro game that'll make people feel old? It would have to be like a launch title for the Wii, where half the chat's like, what do you mean this is retro? And I'm like, bruh, it came out in like 2006, what do you mean? This game's older than some of the chat room, dude.
<laughs> stabbed you in the heart. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We've gotten some equipment ups. So that bomb three is up to level eight now. That's huge. I don't think I was able to go down there before. I don't know if there's anything of value there, though. So we need one more, uh, we need one more equipment capsule to max out that bomb. And that's pretty much all of the weapons that matter to us. Wait, what's down here? Is there anything of value this way? There is a room. <coughs> what is this? Aha! Is that useful in any way? I don't know. Twenty years ago was Final Fantasy IV. That's... That doesn't seem right. <laughs> That's closer to thirty years, surely. Yeah, Final Fantasy X more than 20 years old, that's true. Final Fantasy X was probably the first PS2 game I saw where I uh, noticed how good games looked on the PS2. Like, that was- it wasn't a launch title, obviously, but it was pretty close. And I was just, why does this game look so good? Why does this look better than all the other games I have? I didn't get it. I don't know why it looked so fucking good. <laughs> that was you, Tekken Tag? Yeah, that's another one. PS2 Maximo. We've played both Maximos on stream, but I kinda, if I'm being honest, I kinda have a hankering to play them again. Kinda wanna play more Maximo. Maximo for October. That's not the worst plan. That's not a bad idea. Can I go, like, one inch without mooks appearing right in front of me? Just sprouting from the earth like a plant. You're playing Dissidia Duo Decim. Now there's a fucking game. I love Dissidia. The first two of them, anyway. I've not played any of the ones past that one. The security bot is blocking the door! I won't lie to you. I am a filthy jecked man in Dissidia. Filthy jecked man reporting in. <laughs> I just- I found that Jekt was the most fun because he had combos that required, like, proper timing, and none of the other characters had that. Like, there's characters that can combo a bravery attack into an HP attack as, like, a cancel, and that's fine. But Jekt was the only one where it required you to have, like, good timing to do it, and that appealed to me. And also, he's John Headband, so... That's a win-win. <laughs> Why is he on a pogo stick? Maybe it's a jackhammer.
Come here. Die. Why aren't I on a pogo stick? That's a good question. I hadn't considered that. Wait a minute, that's a better shield than the one I have! Shield 4! I only have shield 2! Wow. Nice. The next Dissidia game where they add Jack. Yes. This is backwards. Oop. This is forward. There we go. The fucking invisible enemy got me all fucking flip turned upside down. One damage! They're immune to that move. Oh no. Thankfully their accuracy is really bad. How do you guys like this bomb? Does this work? Snowman! <laughs> That's pretty good. Apparently my ice bomb has leveled up enough to drop snowmen. I will right, we'll do it this way, then. I must chop them one by one. Warrior of Light and X-Death. The characters I enjoyed the most were Jekt. I liked playing Laguna a lot. Laguna had some fun stuff, and also he's a decidedly, like, regular guy compared to all these other people with superpowers. <laughs> and I liked that about him. And I thought the Emperor was pretty fun, too. The Emperor's got some fun shit you can do with all the, the little landmines. Oh, he's, he's weak to laser! I found it! Yeah, the Emperor's fun, because you can just put some of those flares down. You can just put some flares out, and it's like, what can you do? I'm hiding behind seven flares. How will you get in? Will you fight, or will you perish like a dog? Let's see you attempt to approach. <laughs> this is really funny. Oh no, I got confused. Let me swap to someone with a laser beam. <clears throat> He's dead, never mind. What a fool I was. What a fool I was for thinking this would be simple. You're quite powerful, sir. There we go, we got him. Sword 4, we got another one. Not that we need it, but... We do have it. Can I lure you out so that I can just kind of... There we go. I don't get it! Why do the hackers care about this stone? Akibahara thinks it's connected to time. No matter how I check it, it's just a stone. Giving up already? Should the doctor analyze it again? Hmm... No, that's against my principles. Said the villain with the pumpkin head. I'm not... entirely certain that he's got any principles. He's an evildoer. I would never analyze something twice, yeah, exactly. I'm holding 17 cures. Cures literally falling out of my pockets right now. I believe that is a boss, though, so we need to re-equip the solar pack for some passive healing. Uh... Equip... Save? It's too noisy, can't use the transceiver. How about here? This room I can save in. Cool.
Who's there? What? Return the Tetron? Are you crazy? Ha ha ha! That's so ridiculous. The joke of the century! He's gathered three Tetron by himself. What? Why would you treat my cute little helper so harshly? I won't forget what you said. Rose, get back. I'll take care of this. Are you okay, kid? I'll help you get revenge on Blackmore. Prepare yourself! Yeah, only saving once? Look at that little guy in that little tank. Look at that tiny little dynamite heady shaved man. <laughs> what is this goofy attack? <laughs> the attack is... <laughs> dispense little guy. There we go. <laughs> 67, Jesus Christ. Okay. New plan. Uh, try not to attack him from straight ahead. Big hitboxes. My, what a large hitbox you've got there. Oh, he can't move vertically, it seems. That means I can get back attacks pretty reliably, but... I'm certainly gonna die afterwards. I'll take a 259, though. That's a good hit. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. We take those. I'll fuck. I'll do it again. I was hoping for a crit. <laughs> All right, he's pretty powerful. Square. Marry me with my money. We're excited to announce the new Dissidian is in works with Jack Garland, Aki from Spirits Within, Finally. Kingdom Hearts 2 Cipher, and Wacker while he's still racist joining the roster. <laughs> Cipher specifically from Kingdom Hearts 2. I love this plan. So Bobo's not actually going to be that helpful here because his weapon can't really do much. So it's basically just trade deaths by doing big moves. Oh, what a block! Oh my god! The triple block? How is that possible? How did I block that three times? That was insane! All right, we need to uh, revive him immediately. Oh no, I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm alive, let's go. What? He's very powerful. He's unbelievably powerful. I'm running out of revives. You'd better die before I die. There it is. 90 megs of data. We've leveled up to 31. Okay. All right, so this is the point of the- oh, I leveled up twice there. So this is the point of the game where we try and level this shit out. This is the point where we kind of even out our builds a bit. Because our stats are getting close to the cap anyway. Just do something like that. Doesn't really matter where we put those. And I suppose we need to make more revives now. While we have this menu open. Uh, yeah, I mean, I actually don't need this weather. Create repairs, yes. Yeah, we trashed the weather. We don't need weather. What is weather good for? Could you imagine if there was no weather, and you went outside and you felt nothing? 
Wouldn't that be... That'd be disappointing. There's a scene in the TV show Community. It's one of my favorite scenes in the whole show. Where Troy Barnes, played by Donald Glover, walks Welcome into a room. Panel. Duck it, my Thank you for the follow. He walks into a room and he feels nothing. And John Goodman, who's also in this episode for some reason, is like, do you feel that? Are you familiar with the expression room temperature? This is the room. This is the room temperature room. It is the stupidest moment I've ever seen in TV history. I laughed my ass off. He felt nothing because it was the room temperature room. <laughs> Uh, we're back up to nine repairs. Fuck. He's too big. Too big to avoid! What a block! Die. We'll have to agree to disagree on that one, Reg. <laughs> Equip bomb. There we go. Put the bomb back on. That way I can... Because it's only on level 8. We still gotta get it up to level 9. It's not maxed out yet. This is the one right here. Shit! How do you like bombs? One damage. You are resistant to bombs. Got it. Understood. How fun was the volcano of fun? It took a while, but we got we got out. There we go. Yo, what's up, armored macaw? So we're on our way out of the the hacker fortress, which is probably the most complicated thing we'll be doing today. He dropped a sumo on me! Hey there! 48 Jesus Christ! Calm down. Relax. Not the foot attack. Not like this. Die. You can't just drop a sumo on somebody. That's rude. How? There's just no way to avoid them in this room. <laughs> Have you ever seen a boy that was too wide? Has this ever happened to you? Have you found have you ever found yourself in a narrow corridor with a really wide boy and you just can't circumnavigate him? There we go. Thankfully he moved out of the way for us. Help. <laughs> He's like, I'm coming in and there's nothing you can do about it. Nice blocks. Equipping a shield was the right move. Oh no. Oh no. Been watching sumo lately, they get very wide. I believe you. Okay, they're pretty resistant to laser. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm only close to dead. Nice knockback for zero damage. Me too, Lazarus. What about this? No. Lightning? They don't give a shit. Oh, I'm dead. Alright. The big boy is back in.
the biggest boy I've got. Oh no, he blocked! Come here. There is an impenetrable wall of night in front of me, and I cannot chop through it. There we go. Oh no, there's another one. Help. <laughs> there's no end in sight to the bastions of beef that are these armored knights. How's it going? It's going pretty good. We should be able to finish this game today. I don't know how long the stream will go, but we should certainly be able to finish the game today. We don't have a huge amount left to do. The problem is they keep pushing me back out of range. There we go. T260 is the only guy that can reliably fight these because he's holding a shield and thus does not take damage as heavy as the other two. Don't you dare put another knight in front of me. Okay. I was gonna cry. <laughs> hey, kid, looks like you won. I knew you would. Blackmore is all mouth. I'll take these to the Sky Fort. He's gone, so you can become commander. So that's it! Pumpkin head. Rose, how could you betray me this way? I didn't mean to betray you. You did it all on your own. Too late, they're coming here to get the Tetron. Too bad for you. Oh no, if that happens. Don't you know what that is? The laser remote! It's targeted on this planet of Quintinix! If I push this game over, if they knew about me, they'd make me pay, so I've got nothing to lose. This is crazy! Stop, Blackmore! Complain in the next life! Ha <laughs> ha! See ya! Still not entirely sure what Tetrons do. Uh, they've been talked about quite a lot. It's still- I'm still not certain what they do. <laughs> like, at all. Ooh. Ooh-wah! Oh, it was a child. I've scared the child. Hello, child. The other day I followed a suspicious man, but he disappeared on the way to the cave. You're a newcomer. You must have just moved into town. Me too. Moving into a new town's like sleeping on a new mattress. Kind of exciting. I can't relate. When I obtain a new mattress, I do not frequently feel excitement to sleep on it. You, you aren't from the thief ring, are you? No, a thief wouldn't look so goofy. Rude. An unknown theft ring's been active here. Lock your doors when you go out. All in good time, true. Oh, you're the one who saved Poland. Are you okay now? He found you down by the river, took you to her house and took care of you. And she went to get you medicine from the cave. That's where the theft ring is, I hear. When you're better, you can go there. You got it. Yeah, your aren't. This is what was, uh, written. We are in... the past, currently, by the way. We are in the past version of Rococo, our hometown. There are no roads. <laughs> there's no roads, there's a log that leads to a mayor's house that's not been built yet. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, kid, this is the mayor's lot. They're building there, you can't go in. Yo, FBC, thank you for the three whole years. 
Take your Bezos bucks. Thank you. If we build a house for the mayor, the town will really move forward. Would you like to donate to build a new town? Lamau. <laughs> no. A strange looking guy took my candy and my pocket change. Sorry to hear that. You came here looking for my treasure too? Ha ha ha! What do you think? These are my family heirlooms. I don't like to bring them out, but everybody asks. Oh, I see. He's got a gemerald on the table. I see. I see. Very shiny. Shop? Is the shop in stock yet? What? I've spent all my money. Now I can't open my shop. I want to be ready when the mayor's house is done. Maybe I can get 5,000 GP from some kind person. Would anybody do that? Uh, how much am I holding? Oh, I got 12k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got money to burn. I mean, if I don't kickstart the shop in the past, surely it'll be gone in the present because nobody funded it. Surely. What do you got? What are you selling? Get me a drink, bartender. You sell scrap twos. You do sell repairs. That's all I was really looking for. 150! I get a discount on these? Oh, baby! Carl's house. Can't you see? My mother's really upset. You should leave. <laughs> That's what I've heard, Cliff. I've gone to get medicine. Be right back. So this is where... This is where my house is located, but the door's closed. Mmm. Alright, let's see what else we got going on. In the past... We are on a quest to level up this bomb one more time. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Yeah. That is the Robotrek experience. Correct. True. Real. The reason we've been using T260 for all these fights very stubbornly is because I'm trying to manifest this last level up for the bomb that he's got so that he can get a level 9 goddamn snowman bomb. Aha! There it is. We did it. So now, all of our weapons should be on level 9, then. The axe and the bomb are on level 9. The laser is only on level 3 currently, but we can just create new lasers, and then just kind of stack them on top of each other. We can just fucking duct tape lasers together to power that up. And then the sword and the Celtis are leveled up. We're gonna replace that bomb with a pack. Probably some kind of a, either a shield pack or like a power pack or something. Actually, I'm still holding the solar pack. I could just give that to Bobo now. Cause he doesn't need a bomb. He's already got two maxed out weapons. So it's just these lasers then. Uh, let's go. Let's go Gorf. Yeah. Die. <laughs> Frame one death beam? Big fan. I'll shoot the capsule too, I don't care. Yeah, for this weird flashback that we're in, it's weird that we got to bring our robots with us. I'm not complaining.
<laughs> that was my toy capsule. I'm sorry. Scrap 10. I don't think we've gotten a scrap 10 yet. Fights are going to be real short with this gun. <laughs> Quite short indeed. He lived. I can't believe he lived. I'll kill you. I cannot kill him because he moved to a different line. He's too smart. I can't change lanes right now. Now I can. Hey, level up. Okay. Everything's kind of... Everything's kind of evening out over here. <laughs> I mean, when we have this many stats to work with... There's no... If the, if the base stat total is so high... There's not much room to differentiate between the three anymore. Alright, the gun, the laser still needs work. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put Bobo back in so that we can just lightning sword everything. No, I stopped at 24 on purpose. Uh, if we wanted to preserve our ability to mash the B button to charge faster, we would have to stop at 49. But 24 is also a pretty convenient uh, threshold. Every, like, 24 charge for some reason is like a plateau of speed that it goes up versus speed that you are mashing. PJ has a whole page on it on his website. I could probably just link you to that actually. Robo Trek PJ. I don't know why I thought this would bring it up. It did bring it up. Let's go. Hold on. I got you. Uh, battle mechanics and combat overview. ATB fuel system. Uh, I will link that in chat. Anyway, according to his silly chart, he determined that it plateaus every, like, 24 points or so. game is this? We're playing Robotrek for the Super Nintendo. The game we're playing is always written at the top of the screen where it says now playing. Give me that. Yes, sir. Yeah, also known as Slapstick. Slapstick is the better name for it. I will concede that is certainly the better name. I'm putting Bobo in. Putting Bobo in. It's time to it's time to nuke shit from full screen with lightning. Fuck. Oh, that feels nice. <laughs> oh, that feels quite nice. I tried to swerve the bird, and a slime appeared. How can you do this to me? A 
Let's get a mental, uh, let's get a mental state check right now. Let's get a roll call on your mental state from having listened to this battle theme. For a total of about 11 hours now, between both episodes of this. <laughs> <laughs> Just key smashing. Yeah, I feel that. The cave! What? I can't pass? But someone's sick? If I don't hurry home... Forget about him! How about me? Huh? That's not a nice thing to say. Uh, oh my. You! Hmm. What is this? An eavesdropper, capital E. Well, now for some fun. I'm a Theft Ring member. I mean, you probably shouldn't say that out loud if you're in the theft ring. You cross me and you'll be sorry. The Dark Brotherhood? I don't believe it exists. The Thieves Guild? Never heard of it. Oh my god, they're actually clowns. We've been making clown jokes all day, but now it's actual clowns. Not the bouquet. 40 damage! Oh, you gotta die. Get him. He's blocking. Never mind, he's dead. Somehow we ended up at clowns. I'll tell Rose, remember that! Are you better now? You were so sick. You won't need this. Uh, I'm sorry. You were asleep and didn't know. I'm Polan. You fell by the river. I found you and took you to my house. You were badly injured. Let's go to my house. You should try to take it easy, okay? Teleport. Back home. Just take it easy. Take a nap. I'll make some chicken soup. Mmm, that does sound comfy, though. Fucking Powerpuff Girls phone over here. <laughs> the, city of, the city of Townsville is under attack and I can't pick up the phone! That's okay. Chicken. What's this? He looks just like you! Two of you? Man in bed. Chicken and mushroom soup, yeah! Stop, I have to cover it up! Terrible, what a fever! I'll get medicine from my neighbor's house. No good, I can't give you this. Hmm. What do? Yeah, kill him. I don't think that's us, though, isn't it? Rask? That's like our descendant that we found at the gravesite. Way back when. Wait, there's books in here! Wait a minute! Books? Let's go! Knowledge. Learning. Mmm. Fresh new wrinkles on the brain. You. You're the freeloader at Poland's house. Who are you, anyway? If you bother Poland, you'll be sorry. You will! Something will happen to you! <laughs> what, does, what does that mean? Something will happen to you. There is a dog. Which is pretty exciting. Oh, the dog follows you when you talk to the dog. Let's fucking go. Oh, look at this progress being made on the mayor's house. What do you think? It's almost finished. No, it's not. We want everyone to love this house forever. Bruh, you barely got the floor down. What do you mean it's almost finished? Yo, Trini. Fun fact, Dieno mentioned how this game doesn't have any equivalent to the escape rope. There actually is an equivalent to the escape rope, but it's left unused. Maybe they were worried such an item could possibly use for sequence breaking. Yeah, thank you for the 100 bits. My eyes rolled into the back of my head when I heard the words fun fact. I don't know what you said after it, but... <laughs> I'll trust that it was fun. Don't be silly. Who could be here besides you? 
I don't know. Really, believe me. Oh, his gem emerald's gone. His gem emerald's gone. It got stolen. Oh, no. She stole my jewelry. I went out, and when I came back, the jewelry was gone, and she was there. Hmm. <laughs> so there's an unused escape rope, huh? I can't imagine it would be game-breaking, but they do have you backtrack out of dungeons a lot. Fun fact, most facts are not, <laughs> in fact, that fun. Facts. I'm usually pretty allergic to fun facts. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll tell you why. It's because I... Uh... I feel as if whenever a fun fact is spouted to somebody that there is an assumption that the person on the receiving end of the fact did not know. There's, like, an assumption of ignorance, right? And just that concept alone annoys me. It annoys me when people do it to me, so I don't want to do it to anyone else. <laughs> now, granted, I did not know that escape rope fact. That is true. <laughs> just, that's, I'm just explaining the way that my brain works. My mother is out. She said our neighbor would show her a big jewel. Don't worry, you haven't done anything wrong. Just, ex I'm just exp this is the way that my brain works. You speak cat? I'm surprised. If my master spoke cat, I could ask for food. Interesting. Can I turn into a mouse? Hmm. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm being chased. Let's see if we can go further into the cave now. We don't have anywhere else to go, so we must have to go back here. Farther in than we went last time, no doubt. Oh, 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 it's clowns! It's the fucking clown cave! Thankfully, they all seem to die to lightning, so that's good. One damage. Aha! Aha! I chuckle at you. This game just be making fucking noises. You're not wrong. This is my top speed moving around on water. That's as fast as I can go. Help. Oh, he missed. Never mind. Why is it clowns everywhere I look? Why is it... Why are we straight down to clown town? <laughs> they are just rotating, yeah. I can juke this clown. Let's go! Let's see what else is this way first.
38 damage. Their damage is pretty good. The only reason we're kind of offsetting it is because we have uh, regen at the start of every turn. I'm gonna go this way, actually. What do we got over here? Oh, another one! Fuck! Tried to finesse the clown! Wait, the capsule's gonna block him, let's go! Two in a row! That's cheating! He's not following the rules of war. Then again, neither are we. <laughs> A repair. I'm holding so many cures. We need to use them. Yeah, all John Robotrek knows is robots. That's all his little mind can comprehend. Help. Stop with the clowns. I did not opt in to this clown cave. I walked into a cave expecting a normal spelunking experience, and then, unbeknownst to me, it was clown town. The cave reflects your soul. It looks in the mirror. The reflection has full clown makeup on. Drill cannot be used here. Let's just go back. This would be a nice time for an escape rope, I'll tell you that much. Because we gotta walk all the way back out now. How did I dodge that one, but I couldn't dodge the other one? They were on the same horizontal plane! Maybe after I get into an encounter, maybe I have a few frames of, like... Uh, just a, a few frames of you cannot get into another battle so soon. Maybe we just kind of snuck past him. It's the only thing I can figure. got to be close to another level up by now. I wish to exit the clown cave, but I don't remember the way I arrived. <laughs> don't you gatekeep the door. Don't you gatekeep that door. Don't you even. Good looking. They'll creep up on you, when you least expect it. And we cannot leave the clown cave, but we must. At least I'm pretty sure we're supposed to. I think we're supposed to go to that, like, dead end. And then, uh, go back. If I'm remembering this right. I just thought I'd bring some flowers for Poland. You get out! Are you back in here? What's going on in here? What we got going on in this rinky-dink town? Let's peep the place out. Oh, there you are. Rask! I was looking for you! Oh, they think that I'm Rask. Anybody home? It's Cookie! I can't talk here, okay? 
Out in the forest of illusion, I hit our spaceship. I'm going to the ship. I'll tell Gato. He's French, I guess. Let's talk about it, okay? The forest of illusion is waiting. You got it. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just get into my spaceship that I have lying around. <laughs> Lord Gato, Mark of the Wolves. <laughs> This weapon is really the problem solver. Axe one? What the hell am I gonna do with that? <laughs> Not since Ultima 2 have such limits been pushed. So many of my retro streaming peers. So many of the streamers I enjoy watching are so big, huge into Ultima. And I've never played any of them. Not really. We're gonna have to do it at some point. The extent of my uh, Ultima knowledge is that everyone that I watch play Ultima, they all seem to be, like, really big, big, huge into Ultima 7, specifically. The problem is, the one that appeals to me the most is Ultima 9, and all those same people are like, oh yeah, that's the, that's the worst one. <laughs> but I'm just like, dude, Ultima 9 looks fucking sick, what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, the way that it works, uh, some... Here, I got, I got you. Let me just get into another fight real quick. So, we're not turning around to style on them. We're turning around because the game considers any attack where both parties are facing the same direction to be a back attack. They assume that because we're facing right and they're facing right, that we are actually behind them. Right? So this weapon hits full screen. If we turn backwards, that counts as a back attack from full screen because back attacks are not based on where you're standing. It's based on the direction you're facing. Somewhat of a programming oversight. <laughs> Sir, this is an unlucky place. Pick another place. Hmm. I thought it would be a good spot, but I'm sorry. Oh, they haven't built the uh, the creepy haunted mansion yet. This is John Paul Belmont. You can call him Count Prinky. Count, I was thinking of building a mansion around here, but there was a problem. It's a good time to come here. Look at this. There's nothing here, but it's still strange. If you walk like this, something is here. A big place like this would be a good place to build, but I have to give up. It's true. I cannot walk here. I cannot walk here. There is an object. We have to use our glasses, which lets us see invisible objects, to reveal the entire fucking spaceship that is parked here. <laughs> Yeah, let's get in! Engine room, emergency use only. The doors close tight. Yeah, that makes sense. Just a whole ass spaceship. It was Rask? Didn't he tell anything? He seemed distracted, as usual. Still, I told him about this place. Rask! We were just, exclamation point, talking about you! Hey, why did you leave Choco? What happened to you? And Tetron? Five periods, question mark? 
Oh, hey, I recognize that robot. Yeah, Napoleon, I remember. This is the robot that exploded himself. You're wrong, Cookie. This isn't Rask. The genes are similar, but it's a different person. Did he just perform a remote DNA test? What? But the people of this planet can't find this ship. The culture level is different. True. I'm kind of stupid. I don't understand. Well, who are you? Rask built me so I know him well. You're not Rask, but your personality is like his. Are you trying to deceive me? I don't think so, sir. Alright, none of these people have anything to say. Wait a second! Haven't you seen your double? What? In the town? Really? Oh yeah. Rask is the one in bed. He's got like fucking hay fever or some shit. Cookie, wait. Let him show us whether it's true or not, then check with Napoleon. Hey, then I... You and I can't tell, but he's very suspicious. We'll have to watch him. I see. I want you to return where Rask and the robot are. I won't abuse your trust. Please. You got it. I can't stand following humans like you, but I must follow orders. I don't want to be found out, so I hide my form. I'll follow you. I'm warning you, take me to Rask right away. You got it. This robot will assassinate me if I veer off course even one step. Igor, did you see that? That boy! Yeah, I saw him. He went in there where there was nothing and then appeared. A mysterious boy. I want him to come and play when the house is done. Well, we have to look for another place. I'll build somewhere in this forest. I hope that he'll come to visit. Well, Igor, let's go. I mean, it's true. This is not where they built that mansion. They built the mansion, like, up there. Up that away. That's where the actual... That's where the spooky mansion was built. So, the, this was plan A. But there was a spaceship here that was in the way. And so they built it up there instead. That's the lore. Good. Oh, I gotta take off my fucking space goggles. Yeah, his wording was not ideal. I agree. Rask! He's dead. He's injured and feverish. Your medicine won't help. I'll take care of it. Sorry I'm so late. I made some medi. Oh, she's terrified of the fucking death robot in the room. Yeah, true. What's wrong? Did that good for nothing hurt you? Ah. <laughs> good. Yeah, I just walk right back out. Well, on Choco, robots are common. But you weren't afraid of me at all. Why? Oh, it's because I've got several robots of my own. They're much cooler than you, I'm afraid. Napoleon? You're awake! Yes, it's me, Napoleon! What have you been doing? What's happened? Please tell me. The ship went out of control and fell into a cave. What about your ship? I left a, a blueprint of the new engine in there. Okay, then... A woman came, pink text. Ah! She stole the Tetron! We gotta go! I see! But you have to take it easy now. I'll get the Tetron back for you. I'll go tell Cookie and Gato right away. I'll be back. Gato? Gato is here? Wait, Napoleon, don't tell Gato! Uh-oh. They don't trust that man. Huh? The same face as me! Will you? Do me a favor. That robot, please stop him. This Gato, the Tetron, he must never know. Listen, you're the only one I can ask. But for why, though? If he gets the Tetron, no telling what he'll do. 
You got it, sir, that looks just like me, apparently. I'm on the case. A frog race got redeemed. You got it. Detour. Wait. Save the game first. Then detour. Also, by the way, even in this flashback... The person in our home that lets us save the game, she still responds to our phone calls. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, uh... Mute game. Press frog button. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, it's Dog the Frog! <laughs> we had Dog earlier, and now Dog the Frog the Frog is here. Have we seen them in the same race? Have they ever been in the same room at the same time? Maybe it's his alter ego. His secret identity. Yeah, Simon from SSX. That is, in fact, the reference. <laughs> what is that, Fred emote? Oh no, that's not a Fred emote, okay. That makes more sense. Betting time is almost over. Looks like Dog the Frog is, in fact, favored to win somewhat at 32%. <gasps> Best of luck, everyone. Even Steven. Three pulls away, though! Everyone's trying to catch up. I don't think anyone can get there in time. Simon wins the race. SSX fans be praised this day. He has mad skills. He will get wild. 205,000 new yen awarded to 18 lucky winners. Congratulations to the 18 of you. The drought is over. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Love to hear, love to hear betting droughts come to an end. Poem just got redeemed. Hit that button, too. Hey, Stampede. How about a poem? Glass. Flat and forever. It stretches out and never stops. Unless it finds the hills whose lines rise to mountain peaks far as far can be. Mmm, thank you, Stampede. I still like the idea of New Yen being able to dip into the negatives. And then you can accumulate New Yen debt. I love that idea. <laughs> There's no way for Twitch to implement it, though. Talk to cat. It's too real. That's the name of the game, my friend. Yeah, like credits at Armored Core, you get it. Don't be silly, who could be here besides you? I don't know! Really, please believe me! So this guy still has a missing Gemerald. As for the jewels, I couldn't! Yo, what's up, Omni Gamer? Get out! Never show your face in this neighborhood again! Jesus Christ! Don't worry, we're gonna get through the rest of the game today. We're decently close to the end. There's not that much more to do. There's like... There's like two more dungeons to do, I would say. What should I do? It seems no one else was in Pops' house that day. But it wasn't me! Cat. I'm sorry for my master. It seems the mouse did it. I'll get him! There's a mouse hole between drawers. The mice come out when no one's there. You got it. Mouse business. 
I knew those mice were up to no good. Found a small hole! A mouse-shaped hole, perhaps! Nice dead end in your pipes. Why are your pipes built like this? Get better plumbing, mate. Oh, there's the general! You'd think that would be it. But there's actually hella shit in here. Scrap three. Scrap seven. Scrap nine. Three thousand dollars! By the dramatic BGM, I think it's just because it's considered a key item. Equip jewel. Yes. Yeah, those are my jewels. Where were they? What? The mouse did it. I wonder... I wronged Coker. I must apologize to her. Yes, you should. Stay away from the summoner. You're a bad man. The mice did, in fact, steal it. Yeah. We stole all the other shit. <laughs> Just now, Pops came to apologize. He found the jewels. That was good. We're gonna be neighbors. We can't start off on the wrong foot. All is well that ends well. I am running out of space. I've got a space problem here. And primarily it's because of all this scrap I am holding. We've got to do something about it. But I do not have access to an R&D room. Hmm. Hip hop and go garden neighbors, yeah. Back into the cave. For the third and final time. There's a handful of things we can do. Both of them involve creating a bunch of one particular kind of item called a laser. If we make a bunch of lasers, we can swap out some of our weapons for slightly better ones. The ship does have an R&D room, but we do not have access to the ship because it's not ours. <laughs> yeah, we're back in Clown Town. I'm sorry. There's nothing that can be done about it. <laughs> 41! Die. So who gets to go first in battle is determined by what direction you ran into them from. Imagine it is bump combat, if you will. If you are the one that would have dealt the damage, you get the first strike. But if they are the one that would have bumped into you, were this a bump combat game, they get the first strike. That is how it works generally. Yeah, the clown music finally makes sense. Who dares? Bill Bull! Lord Billiam! Welcome to clown music. How are things all nice crabby mode? Yes, welcome Lord Billiam and all of Lord Billiam's viewers. We are finishing Robo Trek today. We are probably 80%? Eh, 80, somewhere between 80 and 90%. We must change into a mouse here, I believe. I might have to go back to the spaceship first, actually. I think we gotta go back there first. Hold on. Let's get over there. 
Why are we in the clown caves? That's a good question. We have to stop somebody from grabbing the Tetron so they can do uh, uh, something with it. I'm still not 100% clear on what those do. I don't know if the game ever makes it 100%. There are some kind of plot MacGuffin. Oh, nice jukes. I think we have to go back to the spaceship first. And then we come back to this cave. There's not that many places to go. So our options are, you know, pretty streamlined as to how to make progress. <laughs> hey, level 33. Nice. R&D room, yes, sir. Gotta have a T-260 robot, absolutely. I don't know who Gorf and Bobo are. They just sounded funny to me, so that's what they're called. Wait, I can recycle! Wait. Recycle the big bombs. Okay. I can make... I can make more lasers... How much money would this cost me? How much is just a basic laser? 1k? What is my laser on? What is my level? What is the level of the laser I have? I do not know. I will buy a few of them. This is a quintet joint, yes. Do I have any scrap sevens? I do, I do have one. We can level that up to a laser two. We're gonna need another scrap seven to get that to a laser three. Unless... What kind of scraps do I got? Oh, I do have a four and a ten. If I have a four and a ten, I can just skip the whole thing and just make a blow three immediately. That'll save loads of time. So the blow is basically the punch, but ranged. It's a rocket punch, and it is stronger than those hammers we've been throwing. So we can go with that. Those are kind of a nightmare to try and raise the strength of, though. Because the only way to get another blow is to put, like, a punch and a laser together. Which costs, like, 1,200 per... It's kind of a nightmare, but... Eh. Yeah, so we can put that on. So, hold on. Let's just do... Let's just do some gamer math here. The Celtis 3 level 9, which is the strongest Celtis we can get, maxes out at 56 attack. 56. The blow three we just made maxes out at 84, and in fact, it starts at 64. It on level one is stronger than this bitch maxed out. What? So yeah, well, let's equip that then. And then we need to make more blows. Yeah. Because that, it's kind of a, it's a nightmare to try and level that thing up. So now Bobo has a sword and a rocket punch. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 Give Gorf both punches. Now he has a punch and a rocket punch. Yes, this is the way. And then you get the laser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we do it. There we go. Well, now I gotta put my punch bot in there. Gotta put the punch bot. Get him involved. I think I'm supposed to be... I think I'm supposed to leave. I think I have to go back to the spaceship first. I'm pretty sure I did these events out of order. Big bomb. 
die. It's got a punch and a rocket punch. Why is this my top speed on water? But for why, though? Is it neck high? What's going on? Rocket punch! Oh, yes! Rocket punch! Oh, no, he blocked it! Come here. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. He's very powerful. We still have to respect his damage output. Is what I would say. It's what I would say if I just do this instead. Well, nothing is as good as back turn lightning, generally speaking. You know what's funny about the sword lightning back turn bullshit? You get sword for the weapon that can do that, you get it so early in the game. We got it at the end of episode one of this playthrough. That's when we got that weapon. You just find it in a chest. They just give it to you. And I don't think... I don't even think they realized how good it was. <laughs> it's like the best weapon in the game. And you're just given it like halfway through the game. For reasons I truly cannot fathom. Okay, go to spaceship first. This away. Space ship. Let's go. Is the R&D room available? It sure is! Uh, let me see. To create a blow one, I need... Jeez, I gotta recycle so much of this. Uh, let's see. I gotta make some punches. We have to make punches and we have to combine them with lasers. I must craft fist. And then we can combine these. Yes, there's another blow. This is going to cost a lot of money to max out, but if we do it now, we won't have to do it then. And it's not like we're doing anything with any of this other equipment. We kind of have our loadouts, you know, set in stone. We're pretty much good to go with this. I don't even need this sword for. We don't need a second one of these. We don't even need this Celtus anymore. We can get rid of all this. And then we can make all the money right now that we're going to need to make all these. I don't need these axes because I have a maxed out axe. I don't need these boots because I have uh, uh, boots too at least on everybody. Keep a shield, keep a blade. We'll keep them around so that we have room to, uh... So that we have room to equip other things. If you have no items in reserve, you cannot unequip things. <laughs> you cannot leave an empty slot. You must replace something with another thing. And for that matter, we also have to level up the actual laser gun that we've been using, too. You know, just to have maxed out loadouts for every character. It's a little bit of a hassle. We have, what, we have a scrap three. We have two scrap threes. And I have two scrap nines? Oh, baby! 
three and nine together makes boots five. I have to agree, I do like the Famicom colors better, yeah. Let's make two pairs of Boots 5. There is one problem with Boots 5, uh, it is tragically slow. Boots 5 are actually tank treads. <laughs> But they are by far the best boots in the game, I think. Look at the increase to guard and evasion. They raise guard by 14. They raise evasion by 32? At least compared to the other one. It's ridiculous. But look at him now. Look at his treads. He's so good. Let's give Gorf those, too. Let's give Gorf some tank treads, because he is a turbo pack. I feel like everyone that gets tank treads is also going to need a turbo pack just to not be the slowest thing on the planet Earth. Most likely. Uh, I need to unequip some things. I need to unequip the laser so that I can power it up, and I need to unequip the blow so that I can level it up. Let's max out the laser gun first. This is gonna cost a lot of money. Oh no. But if we do this now, we're good for the rest of the game, baby. And in the meantime, we're just gonna have to live with this clown music. This is where we live for the next few minutes whilst we, uh, power up our weapons by duct-taping the same weapon on top of it. That is a regular punch. That does not combine. This works. We're running low on duct tape, I know, tell me about it. I can only strap so many rocket punches on top of each other. Running out of space! Uh, let's see, laser's on six, blow is on three. Let's recycle some of these cleans, because these are by far the least useful item we're holding. Nocturne Dusk Claw, thank you for the raid. Welcome to Clown Town. That's not actually what the stream is called. But I but I mean if we wanna if we wanna corner the market on clown branding, I mean this is a good stream for it. I'm doing pretty good. We're gonna get through the rest of Robo Trek today. There's only a few more things we gotta do. <laughs> it looks like a circus to me. Make a few more of these. <clears throat> we max out the laser now. And then we can get the blow, like, most of the way. I don't know if I can be bothered to do both of them at once. Uh, let's max the laser out. Just maximum, uh, maximum strength laser beam. Some enemies you need this for, because melee weapons they're fairly resistant to. I do wish there were a way to skip this animation. Outside of fast-forwarding the emulation itself, we just kind of have to hold that. That's okay. All 
Okay, the laser is maxed out. For now, that is good enough. So you take the maxed out laser beam. That has almost as much power as the sword does. And then you take the blow back. That, on level three, is almost the same strength as the punch. I don't know why, but that's how it be. I got Gorf in the lead slot, right? Okay. Punch bot is back. Rask, isn't it? I heard from Napoleon. Rask is injured? I'm worried, but I can't leave here. What? Napoleon and Gato? Someone stole something important from Rask. He went to the cave to look. If anybody gets their hands on it. We came from another planet. Can you believe that? Rask, Gato, and I all did the same job. In spite of that, why did Rask... Good question. Wait. Always talk to people until they have exhausted all dialogue. Okay. There are many cases in this game that require you to, like, double or even triple tap on the dialogue to ensure that you've gotten it all. <coughs> now we go into the cave for the final time. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, Quintet and Enix present Clown Town. Come in and... <laughs> having a having a punch bot with tank treads is so funny. The way he just rolls in is so good. Nice crit. Nice whiff. I can't get behind him. Rocket punch. Oh no, he blocked it. I'm doomed. Never mind. Confusion. Oh no, it's poison. Never mind. Poison I don't care nearly as much about. Alright, let me swap, uh... Bobo back in front so we can just lightning everything. We can just solve all of our problems with full screen lightning. Yeah, how can you poison a robot? Many people are asking. This is the way. Yep. I think all of these clowns are, like, very easily removed from this mortal goil by just zapping them. We have to turn into a mouse. Sneak in when the door opens. That is actually required. <laughs> You've come again? Even though I hurt you, you recovered fast. You haven't forgotten me. Such a sad thing to say. Right, it's me, the hacker's leader, Rose. After the explosion, there was a 100 year time slip. I suffered after that. I started a theft ring and collected money for research on how to return to our planet. All because of you. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of clown murder happening in this. I was so happy to meet you in this world and to get Tetron back again. This Tetron is mine now. Now I'll never bother you again. Whoa! He's dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Sunshine doesn't reach the dark places. Goodbye, kid. I won't see you again. 
Dino noticed that he had dropped some of his inventory. Also, clowns! Nice whiff, idiot. I do not have access to a flashlight. The way is blocked by fallen rocks. Do I have a drill? Tone of this game shifted it in the final act. We've not even begun to shift. <laughs> Cure. Do I have a drill? No, my drill is gone. As is my flashlight. Fair enough. Scrap eight. Another hole. It seems quite similar to the previous hole. <laughs> you ate the drill and the flashlight, yeah. I don't know if the flashlight's necessary, but the drill certainly is. He's dead. Ah, yes. Right on top of another clown. We need another drill here. We got hungry, yeah. Oh no, he blocked it! <clears throat> Jesus Christ! Yeah, honestly, the flashlight, not really that required, if I'm being real. The drill we certainly need. The flashlight, I assume the game allows us to skip it. You played the tick with a ROM hack that replaces the tick with Max from Streets of Rage 2. Is that real? I would stream that. <laughs> It's okay, Barfy. We can manifest it together. We can manifest the game of our dreams. Oh, let's go. He gave me an angle. Shit. We need a drill here, too. Need a drill for everything. Can I get you to take a sidestep? No? Okay, just cover the whole... Just cover the whole... <laughs> corridor. I'm stunned! A tough robot. I hurt you so much, but you're still moving? Of course. I was made by Rask and Gato, robot. I'm hard to destroy. This Gato asked me to kill you, but I'll help you. Gato? First, I have to finish you off before I go, or Rose will get hysterical. What? Who? Oh, eavesdropper, I remember what you did. I'll win this time. Prepare yourself! Anyway. <laughs> 
Good talk. <laughs> Great talk, buddy. I... I just wanted to walk hand in hand with a girl! Poor guy. I was surprised. I didn't know people from here could make robots. I came here with Gato, but we got separated. I can't believe what he did. Don't worry about me. If you don't recover and can't move, you're junk. My master betrayed me and I lost my energy. I'll fix you! You? You can't! Without spare parts, I can't be fixed. Yeah? Check this out. Equip a repair. Yeah? Are those spare parts? Well, I forgot there's something I must do. If I don't give back the Tetron, I couldn't face Rask. I owe you a debt. Cool. It's working well. Dino, thank you for your help. You don't have any lights in this dark place? What? You dropped it! What did you drop? I will walk with you. If I can light the way, it'll be easy. You got it. I've got something way better than a flashlight. I have a robot with a flashlight attached to him. I can break this wall. Oh, good looking out, my dude. Do you intend to break that wall, or...? <laughs> yeah, and a drill! Can I get you to break this? Thank you. Yeah, I know, right? We should have Game Wiz. Scrap five. I was hoping I'd get my drill back. Alas. Alright, so now we just gotta find more breakables, really. No. Nope. Gotta find all the breakable walls, just have Napoleon break them instead. Well, there's one over there. Gotta go down and around. <laughs> yeah, Gorf is still poisoned! We have made no effort to cure that. Well, he doesn't take damage. As long as he's not the one that's, like, active, he takes no damage. So it's like, <laughs> I'll just tag him out and I don't have to worry about it. Is it stupid that it works that way? Yeah, probably. You go break that for me. Thank you. My dude. I got my flashlight back. That is not the one I was aiming for, but... Okay. Is that yours? There may be more. Look carefully. This game's nooch in the end game. The end game of this game is so fucking funny. Because the nooch is just use your most busted shit so they never get a turn. Oh, yes, the dragon beam! Hey. Sloshing around in water that slows me down for an unexplained reason. This Rask spaceship? It's broken up. It looks like parts are missing. But who? What for? I've got a bad feeling. 
Sorry, I'll go first. If we had lights. Sorry, take care. Yeah, all right, just leave. That's fine, I didn't want you anyway. He must not want wet shoes. That's probably it. That's the best explanation I can come up with. Didn't want that stinky robot following me around anyway. There's an R&D room in the cave. <laughs> That's not even what I was aiming for. But yeah, good. I'll take it. Well, shit, while we're here, what am I holding? I'm holding two lasers, one punch. Uh, let me make one more punch. That's convenient. There's just an R&D room here. How odd. And then let's make another punch, and then another laser. And then we gotta smash those together to make more blows. And then we combine the blows together to increase the blow. <laughs> and then that's pretty much it. That's all we gotta do here, really. We've gotta duct tape more weapons together. As is my constant want in this game. You'll have to trust that that sentence makes sense in context, because I know it sounded like absolute nonsense. All right, we made three blows. Unfortunately, we have to unequip the blow that we have equipped. We have to unequip that one. Uh, equip shield. That way we can then... Combine that blow with this blow. Remind Dino to save. You got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Is the last one I'm holding. So I need to make three more blows total. But we're not going to do that right now because I cannot be bothered. Cool. Let's get out of here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare take up the entire hallway. I will wait until you make room. You fool. You buffoon. <gasps> Invisible enemies. Can't believe it. Die. Two! I can't believe this. Oh, there's more of you. Oh no, they're lightning proof! Or rather, they're run proof. That was a boss door, yes. 154! I'm coming in. Coming in. As slow as possible. This is my top speed. Die. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Hit the bricks, buddy. Okay. Uh, 
revive. Step one. Let's reorder these like so. Let's equip the transceiver so that I can save, because it seems like a good room to save in. There we go. Really? If I give you the Tetron, I can return to my time. You don't know anything. Tetron is like a prism that shows time. As an experiment, I'll show you your past through this prism. Whoa! Flashing back! Whoa! Oh, Mayor, I have a favor to ask. Yes? What is it? Money? Anything. Just ask. Really? Dino has three stones. I want them. They belong to someone? Nothing else? I'll buy new ones. No, only those will do. Right, I need them badly. Don't worry, we'll kill Dino. <laughs> we'll just kill him. Don't be so slow. Take anything valuable from these people, then we can find out how to return. I was surprised. It had never responded before. People who don't know its power can't do it. Well, what are you going to do? Well, you finished that machine, so I think I can trust you. Who is that? I said no one can get in. You, Dino! This guy, Tetron, is collecting in the future. If I eliminate you, you can't bother me in the future. <laughs> Plot is certainly plotting right now. What are you thinking? Tetron was one of Rask's inventions. I... I know! Yeah, Rask sense. deeply regrets having made this. You shouldn't know about the passage of time. So he left Joko, looking for a place where he could bury it. Hmm. After all, you're only a robot, Napoleon. You'll never be able to understand people's minds. Rose, after I finish this guy off, you can continue testing the machine. I'll take the Tetron. Are there any questions about what's happening? Because I've got several. You're stubborn, but this is the end. This time I have a strong machine. You know what happens when she gets mad? The Sphinx robot, that's pretty strong. Huh. Oh, I didn't reach! 123, what a crit! That's fine. That's alright. I do want to pick him back up, though. Yeah, what a crit. Jesus Christ, can you, like, not crit? That'd be enormous if you could, like, not crit just once. Like, I'm not mad or anything, I just want you to just consider the possibility of not critting. I think it would be pretty epic of you. Okay, that hit me even harder than the previous one. Cool. <laughs> One! Oh, she's resistant to those. Got it. So we're gonna have to set up back attacks for certain in order to deal any kind of good damage, but we also need to make sure the damage dealers stay alive to do so. Oh god. And she can set up back attacks pretty consistently by doing that. Nice block. Actually, maybe this is the play. Just do it like this. What is this missile? Yo, nice whiff, idiot. The problem is, if we get crit again, we just die. So we kind of have to... We kind of just have to... Do one of these. And just kind of hope that we don't get crit. Oh, nice whiff, that's huge. You know what, I'm getting the other one up. 
Now they're all up. Now what are you gonna do? Yeah, huge whiff. Oh, all of a sudden. <laughs> all of a sudden, she can't hit me. Yo, what a block! Coming in. 176! Oh my goodness, T260's an unkillable machine. He's so tanky. <laughs> One hit point. What a block! I only need one. Uh oh, I'm not blocking this. Fair enough. I might be able to get a back attack from here, though. Yeah, I can get all the way back here. Yo, nice crit! <laughs> nice. Nice! Two crits in a row? Alright, fair enough. The <laughs> blocking has to do with a frame counter and a frame rule. That's probably not something we'll be able to fuck around with then. That's okay, though. Ain't no way you're trying to do a back attack here. I was about to say, there ain't no shot. I don't think this works on you. Oh, it does work. Okay, I thought for certain that, like, you would resist lightning. Oh, I'm so dead, baby girl. I'm willing to push for the win here. If I get crit again, I die. But I feel like they're close to death. Maybe not as close as they look. <laughs> yeah, the back half of this game, there's a lot of reviving involved. As your robots just alternate dying. <laughs> Oh? You've revealed your- Oh, I was about to say, you've revealed your back to me. Oh, I do have to heal. Gorf! Not a moment too soon. Yeah, her crit chance is pretty good. It's not frequently that bosses can crit at all. She can crit pretty consistently, which is a huge threat. There we go. All we have to do is outlast, really. 50 megs for that! Let's go. everyone up. Collect corpse off the ground. I've only got three repairs left. We're gonna have to uh, buy a bunch of those again. Shouldn't be too bad, though. I didn't expect. Right. Everyone said it was Gato's fault. I can't forgive that. Give back my Tetron! Kia! <laughs> What the- what was that sound meant to indicate? Hey, 3,000 gold. Enough to buy all those revives with. <laughs> yeah, PJ, uh... PJ has, like, a website that documents a bunch of how this game works. 
It's very in-depth, as you would expect from, you know, the documentation of a speedrunner. <laughs> Come in and very slowly. That was the wrong way. Yeah, you're on frame 9 of 32. That means, in theory, if you know exactly what frame you're on, in theory, you can block every time. Which would be insane, but I don't think that's in any way feasible by a human being. That would be extremely funny, though. To be that locked in. What? He blocked it! Yo, what's up, Master Gregor? I don't mind the clown music, yeah. At some point, you just become one with the clown music. Just channel it. Through your body. You are the clown. I gotta put Bobo back in front, just because he can trivialize fights with a big lightning sword. I think this way is where I'm headed, right? Can I get you to move out the way? Thank you. My dude. My dude. My guy. This is the wrong way, actually. I mean, everything in here kind of looks the same. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, we're headed in that direction. We need to go up and out. I got turned around. You ever have that happen to you in an RPG where you're running in one direction and then you get into a fight, but the fight used a particularly high amount of brain power or maybe it was just a long fight and then by the time it was over you completely forgot what direction you were running in? I fall victim to this constantly when I play RPGs. This is the right way. <laughs> Dude, when you walk to the kitchen, just get into a random encounter on your way to the fucking fridge. Sam, though. Sam. I think we go back to town here? Is that right? I'm either supposed to go here or I'm supposed to go to the spaceship. Rask's friend is visiting. He asked me to leave them alone. Rask has a place to go home to. That's normal, but I somehow feel lonely. Wait, not going back to Choco? Explain, Rask. I'm not going back. I have something I have to do on this planet. You're a Choco scientist. The Tetron has shown you, right? 
Choco will be invaded in the future. How can you tell the king to prepare for it now? It's Cookie. What? Okay, I'm coming. That was Napoleon. Something's happened, I must return to the ship. Okay, I'm going. You must change your mind by then. We meet again. I know, the Tetron was stolen by Gato. I have a favor to ask. Follow Cookie and stop Gato. You got it. You're the only one that can stop him. If you don't, something awful will happen. We've only just met, but I feel as if I know you well. Trust me, you don't. <laughs> We're gonna need to buy more revives. We might as well do that here. We should buy those revives here, now, while they are on a discount. Oh boy, here I go, buying all the revives on the planet Earth. Just fill up the bag, Captain. Just fill the whole bag. I'll take your entire stock. One more. Alright, I feel good. I feel good about that. How many did I buy? 13? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, shadow run, uh, shadow run sound effects. To the ship! Uh, here, yes. And then, huh? And then, huh? Dino, did you see Cookie? Gato's out of control! Cookie and Rask are about to take off in the spaceship. It's moving! Sorry, I'll go to the cockpit and get Gato's attention. We have ten minutes! That's enough time to start the engine to return to the ground. Rask? Whatever. What are you thinking of, fool? What? This Tetron's defective. Ha <laughs> ha, that old trick won't fool me. You were always like that, Rask. Always ahead of me with that smiling face. This Tetron was your invention too, but you refuse to use it this way. So I'll use it. With this prism, I'll see the past, future, and control the flow of time. Whoa. It's getting a little wobbly in here. What? What's happening? No way! You! Apparently, it was defective as advertised. <laughs> Get up and put on a happy face, you got it. Meanwhile, back in the present day... Flashback sequence over. You've come too. Where does it hurt? What? Old Rococo? Ah, <laughs> you were dreaming. This is your house. Do you remember? I installed a switch to blow up the fortress with a laser. The fortress exploded. You were lying in the wreckage of the fortress. I'm glad you're safe. What? Tetron? I picked it up from the wreckage. We'll talk about it later. You can get up now. Are you sure you're okay? Don't push yourself. Nah, I'm good. Dino, are you okay? Do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I think we brought everything with us. Everything from the flashback sequence? Yeah, it's real. We got it. It is in my pockets as we speak. <laughs> Save game. Yes, sir. All right, we have one blow. Uh, I am. What is the what is the blow that I have? It's on level six. Okay, so I need to make two final blows. That requires me to make two punches, two lasers, and then we at last, finally, all of our weapons are maxed out at level nine. 
It's taken a long time to get there. And even then, there's still more things to make. There's still shields we can make. There's still uh, more boots. We could get better boots. More, uh, slightly more mobile ones, at any rate. I may have created one more punch than is necessary, I'm not certain. Combine punch with laser. So we gotta do... Uh... No, 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 no. These two, yes. And then we slap all those onto the one we got. And then we never gotta worry about weapon upgrades again. Cannot get any stronger than this. You do have to unequip that, though. There we go. Duct tape all these together. No, that's a punch. Here we are. <laughs> you don't tell him there's a blow four. I'm pretty sure there's not. I will cry. If there is, but I'm pretty sure there's not. How do I get better shields, though? I think we need, like, scrap nine for those. And we can't get those here. We're gonna have to sell a bunch of our shit. But we can get scrap nine towards the end of the game. Uh, that's not where that weapon goes. You! Yes! The maxed out blow is better than the maxed out punch! How funny. Usually it is... Usually it's always the melee weapons that are better. But between the two punching weapons, <laughs> the ranged one is more damage. I guess it's because of the high crit chance. Wow, an earthquake! It's okay to go out, be careful. I'm asking you about the light! Why can't I go to the river? I want to see what fell! Everyone calm down. A light fell by the cave. We don't know what it was. It's dangerous to go there. Everyone wait here, I'll check it out. Nah, I'm going straight there, you can't stop me! Yeah, what's a blow for? We just don't know. Put Gorf in the front. Punch bot, my beloved. Die. <laughs> That's so much damage. This is an emergency. You can't go in the cave. However, a mouse could go in. A person can't. They don't care about letting a, a mouse in. Uh... Hello, miss? Um... Are you from this planet? Hello! I'm Tira. No relation. Is this a cave planet? It's not too warm. It's just fine. I really like it. Princess! I told you not to go out! Back to the ship! Oh! What's this? Are you Dino? What a coincidence! I'm her consul! People can see us here. Let's go somewhere and I'll fill you in. This will be a shock, but we are from the planet Choco! This is Princess Tira. Dino, we came to ask you to help us. On Choco, the, comma, hackers have launched an attack. 
The surface was burned, and we ran to the shelter. One of my ancestors, Cookie, told me to come here to see you. Princess, I'll tell him. Your explanation would take so long. A Tetron is now in your possession. Use its power, Cookie's will said. The hackers have a fortress with a strong power. We need the Tetron to destroy it. Uh, it's hard to believe, but it's true. In exchange, I'll give you this. If you help me, you can use this. This will take you to Choco. Dino has gotten the spaceship. <laughs> you ever just get an entire spaceship? Princess, shall we go? Um, please help us. We've tried everything. Dino, meeting you has been my first ray of hope. Please help us. On Choco, we may meet again. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, this game's going places. We are in the final act of the game. It's not that long. The space arc of this game is pretty short. Yo, Dayton, the orange. Enjoy your weekend, streamer. You earned your E. No seven. We haven't earned it yet. We gotta finish this game. We're close to the end, though. What do you think? I believe it. You too? I don't think they're so bad. Well, these three Tetron, I've decided to give them to you. Use them well. We've gotten all three MacGuffins. <laughs> yeah, how did they get into this house unseen? These people from another planet. I guess it's fine. <laughs> it is time to use the spaceship in broad daylight. Yes. Don't mind me. Just pulling up in a spaceship. <laughs> what are they going to do? Stop me? I've already left the planet. You'll never catch me, idiot. Let's go! We're in space! There's only one place to go in space. Choco, our destination, is what I would say if there were not a secret... Oh, hello. Hello, Superman flying by. There is a secret on one of these yellow stars. I don't remember which one it is. One of these yellow stars is a secret. There it is. Kidada. One of the game mechanics of this video game is that there are many books that will teach you how to make many things. This secret area contains all the books in the game, just in case you had missed any. So that you are able to create anything your heart desires, even shit well beyond your current level. Shield 5? That's the best shield in the game! Welcome to Kirara. Lost books from all time periods are collected here. You'll probably find what you need here. Well, come in. Inventor's friend level 60? Level 80? Bruh, I'm on 34 and I'm at the end of this game. I'm gonna finish this game barely... Are we even gonna get to 40? <laughs> I don't even know if we're getting to 40. Yeah, time to grind. Ain't no way we're getting up to level 80 to see what that is. There's no fucking shot. We've arrived on planet Choco. Welcome to Choco. Yeah, how much grinding did they expect devs to- or did they expect us to do? I mean, the truth is, the game requires pretty much no grinding. We've not really grinded. We fight everything that's in front of us. This is the lab. Our scientists develop weapons to use against the hackers! That's pretty much it, though. I heard about you. How do you like our planet? This is the shelter. 
If we had a real lab, we could make weapons and get our revenge. Are you? Did you bring the Tetron Stone? I was against it. After all, it's an old invention. We have to see Tira. Then we can talk. I'll check the stone later. You got it. But there is... Shit to grab here. This is Gato. All he can remember is his name. But he's a great engineer, so he's helping us. We all admit he's a better engineer than we are. You've met me before? Sorry, I've lost my memory. I can't remember anything. So, when he used the stone in the flashback and it got all wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey, that's probably when he lost his memory, and then this is back in the present day where he's like, who am I? <laughs> Scrap seven! How much would that shield cost me? Shield five. <laughs> it's a bit rich for my blood! Wait. It's time to sell things. I don't need any of this bullshit. Give me the money that I need. Boots three? Expart me? No, put those on. There you go. I don't need any of this bullshit. Give me a uh, shield five. Yep. That is the best shield in the game. We already have a turbo pack. We have a solar pack. I don't think we have a power pack. A power pack raises your uh, offense by like 10. Yeah, we should make one. Yo, DM Tyranny, thank you for the four whole years. Let's sell some of these scraps. I mean, actually, we're not really gonna use any of these, any of these, like, scraps anymore. We're never gonna need these. <laughs> and it'll give us more room for more, like, healing resources at the end. So let's make the... No, no. This. Yes. Power pack. There we go. Power pack, turbo pack, quick pack. I could have sworn there was like a shield pack as well. But it's whatever. Not sweating it too much. Okay. Equip shield five. I still have the shield four. We're just gonna hold on to that. You can take the... Let's see, Bobo can take the power pack because he moves fast. You need the turbo pack because you're slow as ass. And then you, to be honest, I'm probably not going to use that bomb a whole lot in the end game, so you might as well just take that pack, and then everyone's got a pack on. That feels like the play, yeah. The Nintendo Power Pack, yes. Sir, you're blocking the door, thank you. Don't worry, Tunnel Snakes rule. The VOD will be up tomorrow. Dino, welcome. Come in. I was sure that you'd come. My console will give you the details. Please ask him. Welcome. This is Choco's lab chief. Please give the Tetron to him. He'll take care of it. Dino, I'll take the Tetron if that's okay with you. The Tetron shows the flow of time, I've heard. The Tetron will show the fortress's weak points, so we can develop weapons to defeat it. Yeah, I thought there was. It's probably just one of the books. We could go to that library and just read it. Whatever it was. Scrap A is a robot part. I'm studying robots. Let me see it for a moment. Take it.
console. I'm going to the lab, too. I'll be right back. Yeah, 10 guard, 16 evade could be the difference between life and death, though. Like, especially against a boss fight. I should have talked to him. Yeah, back to the lab again. The Tetron will be combined, bringing back their former power. Dino, would you like to take a look, too? Oh, yeah, sure. This is just the bit where we have to talk to people for a while. This is the bit where we walk and talk. <laughs> Maybe it's one of these! Level 40! It's this one! Shit! Ha! I can't be bothered to go and get it. They're combining the three stones into one. Interesting. Thank you for this. This robot scrap might give us interesting data. But the Tetron research comes first. We'll need a little time on this. This is Gato, all he can- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so these two have the same dialogue? Yeah. I'm pretty sure now we have to talk to, like, literally everyone in the living quarters. Before we can enter the final dungeon of the game. I hear you came from a primitive society where samurai have swords stuffed in their belts. The good part about coming here is I can see Tira close up. She's elegant and cute. Everyone's trying to be calm, but I'm scared. If the fortress attacks again, what'll we do? A store! Let's go. Give me more revives right now. 450, you're breaking my balls here, dude. What kind of prices are these? She back in my day, revives costed 150. What kind of inflation bullshit? Everyone's trying to be calm, but I'm scared. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to any hicks. I don't want it to rub off on me. Good. I don't know how, or I don't know what hackers are, but Choco's scientists will take care of them. They're excellent. Choco had a beautiful city with both machines and nature, but now, how long will it last? Yeah, these are those airport prices. Paying fucking $25 for a slice of pizza at the airport. Is that enough dawdling? I think that's enough dawdling. I think we talk to who's his face this away. I think we've done all the prerequisite dawdling. Oh, how embarrassing. When you get old, you can't stand up for long. Did you see the lab? I hope they get something from the Tetron. Gato from the lab? He's a hard worker. I think Tyr is kind of interested in him. I heard about someone with the same name who tried to steal the Tetron. Maybe just a coincidence. Totally. This is terrible! The Tetron, Tira, Gato, all missing! What? Explain it to me. I was away from my desk for a moment, and he got out of the lab. Don't just stand there, look for them! And away we go. Two dollars for three credits of pinball, that's pretty rough. Tira? She went walking with Gato, and then they left in the spaceship, and... Did I hear right? What's Gato going to do? If the princess... This is awful! A telegram from Gato! Tell me, and no excuses! Ah, I'll read it. Tira and the Tetron are mine. You can't win. Stop resisting. Surrender now. Otherwise, Tira will lose her life. Hacker ruler got. <laughs> what? Is he the hacker's ruler? I didn't think. We have to do something. Gather everyone in the meeting room. We'll decide what to do. 
Dino, join the meeting. Please help us. You got it. <laughs> Tira and the Tetron have fallen into the hands of the hackers. Will someone volunteer to go to the fortress and rescue Tira? Nah, I'm good. This is shameful. There's no other way. Gather round, we'll draw straws. <laughs> Red straw, that's it. Whoever draws one will join the rescue team, okay? I see no way this backfires. <laughs> yeah, just give everyone a straw. Totally, why not? I'm gonna get the short straw, aren't I? Please take one. There's only two left. Which one do I want? The left one! Dino gets the red straw. Good. Those of you with red straws, get to the dock! It's up to you whether or not Choco's taken over by the hackers. I'm counting on you. This isn't even my planet, dog. How much am I expected to care about it? Gotta do everything in this damn house. Yeah, am I getting compensated for this? Do I get workman's comp? No, it doesn't matter which one you pick. You get the red straw either way. <laughs> Away we go. The final frontier! I lost the draw, so I have to go. Too bad. What about Scrap A? We'll never know. Is Tira safe? I hope nothing happens to her. No one from Choco has ever been inside the fortress before. I'm excited. Sir, you got me in a box, thank you. Our scientists are proud of this spaceship. It'll be hard to destroy. We'll close in on the fortress in high-speed warp. You can't use the bathroom in warp! Why not? I want to see what would happen. No, but why not, though? The hackers are attacking! What?! Battle stations launch a counterattack! Captain, the battery's been hit! We can't fight back! Captain, the engine room's under attack. Condition red. I mean, I've played F I played FTL before. The problem is all of our guys are in the one room. You really gotta spread them out throughout the whole ship. That way they can put out fires and fix holes and shit. We kind of got all of our eggs in one basket here. Captain, an energy reflection is headed our way. It's a huge... Oh no! No escape! We're done for! You're bad at FTL. Don't worry. Almost everyone is. You know how many people I know that are good at FTL? Two people. Everyone else is bad at FTL. Myself included. Hey, wake up, I said. Didn't you hear me? Oh hey, it's Kotetsu. It's the first time we've seen him today. I have to take care of you all the time. Don't you remember me? Hey, it's me, Gotetsu. It's been a while. You surprised me. I was looking for valuables on the downed ship and saw you there. When you calm down, come here. I'll tell you all my stories. Your head will be full. Yeah, the Toiler Elevator! How do you like the ship? It's the metal iron. Good. And it's all mine. It's a long story. My business failed and I had to put it up as collateral on a loan. Then I was told if I spied on a certain kid from a certain planet, they would give it back. So, I watched you. What? Common thief? Well, that's just a side business. Why were you in a place like that? What? Going to the fortress? You might save her, but if you make enemies of them, 1,000 lives won't be enough. They're telling me how many revives I should have brought, apparently. I heard that! Oh, it's Mint. You. 
You tomboy. That is not the word he wanted to say. How did you get aboard my ship? I know how to tail people. I was following a man and found this ship. By the way, I heard what you said. A fortress. A princess. Sounds interesting. It's not getting involved in such a mess. No thanks. Wait, you. I've been listening. What a coward. This little boy is going to the fortress and you can't help? Are you a man or a mouse? It's true. It's true. She's kind of spitting, actually. I see. Fortress or not, I'll go anywhere. But I'll just go. I won't be responsible. You got it. Who is she? I have business at the fortress. I'm a real businessman. With warp, we'll get there in one jump. Sit down. Uh, sit down? Space! Princess! Fortress! Like science fiction! <laughs> Good. There we go. The spice! Now we're in the actual final dungeon of the game. Mercifully, it's actually not that complicated. It looks enormous, and it kinda is, but it's weirdly straightforward, too. <laughs> yeah, it's got the space background, exactly. We've arrived at the right location. Follow me! You got it, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Wait, I'll go with you. You're kidding! If you come along, it'll just complicate things. Stay here. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Call me Mint. Anyway, if I go and I'll talk to them, hold down the fort. <laughs> Good. Uh, no, no, not the spaceship. Use the transceiver. Too noisy. Can't save here. We gotta find a room we can save in. Who dares? Ah, there's a room we can save in. Tie Tuesday! Thank you for the huge raid! How are things? To the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, Maxwell, thank you for the follow. This way, don't dawdle or I'll leave you behind. We're at the end of Robo Trek. We're in the final dungeon. Save the video game. Wait. There we go. Yeah, huge raid. What were we all up to? Looking at food, watching sports, classic dude stream shit. Nice. Haven't seen you in a while. Business must be bad. You must be joking. I was collecting lots of stuff for you. These <laughs> sports. Yeah, this game's great. Oh no, my protege! Remember him well. Anyway, I brought good stuff. Your favorite! Moo Foo Foo, too. Huh? What? Show me. I'm just gonna ride the silly little. ride the silly little conveyor while they're being distracted. We're still collecting scrap, but we're definitely done making things out of scrap. <laughs> we have no use for any of it at this point. Wait, there's another one over there. How do I grab that? Yeah, it's time to case the joint. Grab anything that's not bolted down. The rental room. There is a small hole. Too big for a man. Just the right size for a mouse. Did you hear? The ruler brought the princess of Choco here. Choco couldn't stop the hackers. The ruler rules! Ha <laughs> ha! Get it! Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, Yug, thank you for the follow. I'm glad that... <laughs> I'm glad that they're... 
<laughs> I'm glad that they disapprove of his joke and he's sweating about it. Quintenix next. I hear it'll be soon. Too bad. A little planet like that can't compete with the fortress. Hacker soldiers, intruder in the fortress, all personnel, red alert. Cool. Yeah, okay. So if you've never seen this game before, it's a game about, uh, making silly little robots that kill things for you. Rocket punch! Yes! We have three different robots, all with varied weapons. This one has a lightning sword and an extremely large gun. They're all dead. Oh, nice level up. Good timing. Huh? Zizek's raid? What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, the Gary stream's over? Why, Thero? What is happening? Yeah, thank you for the huge raid. That's like, how many raids in a row was that? <laughs> thank you. Everyone's here for the end of Robo Trek? Better get comfy. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Hypersai, thank you. For the follow. Thank you everyone else who has followed as well that I did not catch in ignorance. I can only apologize. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Yo, Rig, no relation. Thank you for the follow. Also, Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get let me just ready. immediately recycle this. This item that I'm never going to use. You have not missed the ending. You are correct. Hold on, I gotta reorder these robots. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Do it like that. Flash fire, thank you for the follow. Brute ask, thank you for the four all years. Rocket punch. Yes. A poem has been redeemed. So before we proceed with the end of this video game, throw it over to Stampede for some words of wisdom. Hey, Stampede. How about a poem? The wave comes from your memory, crashing onto the rocky shore of today. It starts in an instant, a node in history's void, and surfs the past onto the daylight of the now. It hangs momentarily, like a disembodied heart, a life core, chromed and gleaming like a ball of belt-lying trim in the sun. In one sliver of a moment, once struck, this gong's power reverberates forever, ready to pierce the present, enwrapping you in waves of deafening pain. Or in reeling rapture. You cannot stop its coming, but it can be delayed by only the strongest of mental breakwaters. And even then, the crumbling rock wall comes down on top of you with the rushing flood. I wish I were as cool as Stampede. He's pretty cool. Back to the game. Is what I would say, but a frog race got redeemed too. If you just got here in the raid. It's time to bet on the frog race. Four frogs enter the arena. Only one survives. Place your bets now. <laughs> Wait, when did Ribbit City Ransom get added? <laughs> I have never seen that frog before. <laughs> we're just we're just inventing frogs. I've never seen Ribbit City Ransom. Yeah, rip lag switcher. Don't worry about the gravestone over there. It, it would take too long to fill you in on the lag switcher chronicles and why that frog had to be put down. You'll just have to trust that it's for the best. <laughs> 
All right, betting time is over. 30% of this bet is on Ribbit City Ransom. 26 on Michigan. Best of luck, everyone. It's the final, probably, frog race of the day. Who's got the lead? Frog number two's got the early lead. Frog number four, not too far behind! He goes for the line first, he gets there! Frogerton wins the race! Only 20% of the bet was on this frog. That means whoever won is gonna get a pretty big payout. Pay it out to frog number four. 330,000 new yen given to 15 lucky winners. Congratulations to all 15 of you. And my condolences to everybody else. Don't worry. If you lost this frog race, you'll guaranteed win the next one. <laughs> my wife Welcome is going to, the to, to leave me ready. now. <laughs> yeah. Oops, all brain worms. Thank you for the follow. Don't worry, you'll survive. You'll be fine. I promise. Mr. Radon. I have watched so much Looney Tunes, and yet I believed that Michigan J. Frog would perform when called upon. <laughs> Michigan I am an J. Mark. Frog. <laughs> An absolute mark for Michigan, thank you. Rude. Die. <gasps> 12 damage! Rocket punch? Ah, they're weak to rocket punch. Die. What if I combo three of them, though? 857 damage, Jesus Christ. I've never seen that much damage in this game. Hot damn. Yeah, you hit them from behind, it does 1.5 times the damage. I found the intruder, stay put, don't move. To the ruler. How about that? Don't you know me? It's me, Kotetsu. Oh, he's in disguise. Did you find Mint? She's on board the ship! If she hangs around, my business will drop off. If you see her, tell her to go back to the ship. The princess is in the next floor prison. You saw the red door? There's red, yellow, and blue doors. Each has a password. I know the red password. I'll tell you. Dino learned the red password. Well, do your best. I have to find her. What a bother. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Tell us how you really feel. Shield three. What is this away? Whoa! Enemies. That's what. We'll tactically avoid them. That is a blue door. I do not have the blue password. We need to find a red door. Well, that was easy. Door is open. Whoa! Angel children? But for why, though? Nice knockback. I like that the knockback lands, but not the damage. If you just got here and you've never uh, experienced the Robo Trek battle theme, by the way, that's a uh, ninety percent of the game is this song right here. <laughs> Swap robots. Let's put Bobo in front. He can just trivialize most encounters with lightning. Oh, dear God, they're huge! <laughs> yeah, rocket punch the child. Wow, that didn't do anything! <gasps> nice shot. The <laughs> Lord Zen? Kind of. That feels like bullying. 
the way we just exploded the child. Oh no, he lived. What a jump! Oh, he's good. Not to worry. It's under control. My slowest robot, but my sturdiest robot. It's the intruder that was announced! I'll take you to the ruler! Will you, though? Are you quite certain? Yeah, he's got treads. He's extremely slow with them, though. <laughs> That's the trade-off. Button? Button is push. Hype train complete at level 169%. OBS has told me. Nice work. <laughs> Dino, I thought you came here to help me. I was scared, but I waited for you to come. Come here. I know the way out of here. That... seems fishy. That seems weirdly fishy. Dino, this is the end. Good job. Oh no, it's Gato! Really, a good job. Never be fooled by a fake. After coming this far, I'll take you to a suitable place. Take a break there. There he go. Elevator go down. We're on the bottom floor, presumably. The trash chute, at last. I've always wanted to be here. Yeah, Japanese title of the game is Slapstick. I mean, overall, it's an extremely silly game. It's fitting. <laughs> the trash man, yeah. It's elevator. What is this way? Invisible enemies, can't believe it. You're that ninja. Fifty-five? That did not do the damage I was hoping it would. Hello, I'm dead. Alright, new plan. Forty-three? This guy is insane! Ooh. Fair enough. I don't suppose I can just chop him. <laughs> yeah. Turns out, the simple solution is sometimes the best one. <laughs> sometimes you really, sometimes it really do be the simplest solution. Just chop him. <laughs> with a large weapon. Oh, there's an R&D room here. Yeah, okay. Shit, in that case. What a wonderful smell you just discovered, Dino. Wonderful so smell. To fire. True. Let's make a few repairs, then. We don't have much else to do other than make repairs. That's pretty much just, that's what we do. Gaia Green! Thank you for the 29 old years. I know, we've been on for almost seven hours. It's all right, we're in the final dungeon. The end of this game is within reach. It's a pretty big building, though. Thankfully, it doesn't have you running around, uh, like, in circles, not knowing where to go. For the most part, it kind of steers you in the correct directions. Scrap six. We need a yellow password for this. 
And stick around, catch up on the previous six hours, yeah. VOD will be up tomorrow. As soon as it gets out of, like, 360p processing hell. Some VODs take longer to do that than others. You're that ninja! Well, I know how to fight you now. Come here. That's the wrong guy. That's the wrong bot. This is the right bot. This is the only bot for me. No, sir. Nope. <laughs> He's too tanky. What can you even do? <laughs> There's no way to damage him. He's too thick. Oh, shit, a rat! Dino, please do something about these mice! The fantasy zone. Get ready. Boss Phoenix, thank you for the follow. Turn into mouse. Take care of this woman. I should say that to you! I can't get in my nest if she's there! Oh, I see. She's standing in the way. Miss, can you move? What? There's a mouse hole. There you go. Way to stand in front of the mouse hole. The By a mouse hole? Where am I? It smells bad in here, and there's mice. This is not the time. I heard the next target of the fortress is Quintinix. My planet. We have to get out. But what to do? There's an elevator, but it's not moving. Indeed. I don't have a yellow password either. We do not have a yellow password to get through there. So we must actually go in the mouse hole, streamer. <laughs> streamer, you left the mouse hole there, unexplored. There we go. <laughs> ah, button! Button is push. Feels good to push button. Where's this? Oh, that's the yellow... That's the fucking... Okay, cool. At least we turned the elevator on. Excuse me, sir. You're very wide. <laughs> There's no way around you, sir. Pretty much any time we run into these alien things, we can just kind of nuke them instantly. <laughs> Please don't sue us, Fox! Ninjas again! I'm gonna regret turning my back to that ninja. I am so dead, baby girl! Wait! Never mind. <laughs> you fool! They are invisible, though, which is pretty annoying. Another one. They're everywhere. Ooh. You'll die first. You'll die first! Yes, sir! What? You get juked. My jukes are insane. Need yellow password. Look, Dino, the elevator's moving. Get in! I can't stand a place with mice. Sorry! That's the problem. It's the mice. It's not the garbage smell or the sense of impending doom from being surrounded by enemies. No. It's the mice, that's the problem. Ah. Some big boys blocking the doorway. <laughs> cool. Well, at least they're easy to kill. That's good. Sure as hell can't go around them. Cool. 
Okay. Give me about... Uh, save game. Save right here. Give me like two minutes. Give me like two minutes. I'll be right back and then we'll finish this here video game. Let me give you another... Let me give you some Saga Frontier jams. What's the jam? Probably HQ, because we're in the HQ. Yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. Just in time. All right. We've got ourselves a video game to finish. So let's finish it. Juke these enemies. The ones that are jukeable, anyway. Some of them occupy a hallway. <laughs> thin enough that there's no way around them. We still need the yellow password. There's another mouse hole. What have we got here? Many mysteries in this fortress. Have you seen the princess the ruler brought? Is the woman in his room now? I saw her! She's cute. What? I haven't seen her! A cute princess! Let's have a look. But the ruler's room key isn't here! I can't get in! Too bad. Interesting. All we've really done is perform reconnaissance. <laughs> Streamer is a rat, huge if true. I should unrat. There we go.
<laughs> you need key to progress in dungeon. Shocking twist. Help. Help. He's too wide. I cannot circumnavigate him. Raccoonicence? That is a good name for a video game. No one's done that yet, I don't think. You should patent that before somebody, before somebody takes it. That's good. <laughs> oh, what a leap! Come here. Oh, I can't reach! Coming in. Use one of these cures we're hoarding. Got 21 of these bitches, no reason to be stingy with them. $2,000. But for why, though? There's nothing to purchase anymore. Oh no. Is that confusion? Fuck. Yeah, it's Lord. It really is Lord Zed. And we can use them in the level up machine. We can make more healing items. That's about all we can do with them. Nice crit. Especially since it looked like he was about to block the whole thing. It's a stroke of luck. Ah, oh, jukes. He's in the bathroom! Don't come in here, I'm still cleaning! You! you. Uh... <laughs> because of you, I have to do... Oh, he's stuck cleaning the bathrooms. <laughs> want to hear my hard luck story? No. Then get out, I don't want to see your face anymore. Okay, tell me the story. Then listen, when the fortress exploded, I barely got out. I came to the fortress. Because of Quintinix, the eternal janitor was my sentence. I was the hacker's leader! They invented a no-run program to keep me here. If I run, my body hurts. Poor guy. You still want something? What? Looking for the princess? I don't care. Wait, it's all up to me. I cleaned the whole fortress. So my key opens everything. Wah ha ha. You want it? If the no run program stops, I'll give it to you. The yellow password will be yours. It'll be easier for you to get around. The program's in the fortress computer. If you go, uh, go if you understand. Do you care about the princess? Not particularly, if I'm being real. How much time have we, how long have we known the princess? Like, like an hour or so? She just kind of showed up. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, I don't care about her that much. Oh no, I'm so cooked. We interacted with her ancestor. I think that's right. Yellow password. Yellow password door. Eh. Juke all the Lord Zeds. Oh, the computer! It's time to hack. I'm going in. We should save before we do that. And we should reorder our machines, and then equip the whoop, equip the yeah transceiver. I can't save in this room. Can I save in this one? Ah, here I hit it. I don't know why I can save here, but not in the computer room. All right, equip Cyberjack. I'm going in.
Thankfully, it seems incredibly straightforward. Yeah, not Pepsi Man hacking. I mean, Shadowrun for the Genesis has, like, the most untouchably awesome hacking minigame that I've ever seen. Where it's, like, it's a whole second RPG on top of the first one. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's Bug Bug again. Hello, Bugless Bugless. We meet again! Dr. G increased my memory and gave me a power up. What? The No Run program? Yes, I have one. That's not so easy. If you want it, you'll have to beat me. The day has come to test the speed chip and the speed management program. Okay. I have a very slow robot, but you know what? He's really tanky, too. Damage him if you can. I can damage you. Can you damage me? I don't think you can. <laughs> you ain't dealt damage yet, friend! Oh, 14! Which is immediately being regened back. I will just very slowly tank treads up to you while I passively regen everything you try to do. T260 is so unbelievably tanky right now. He's got the regen and everything, and the shield is <laughs> just no... Oh no, he got confused! We might get hit with a back attack here. I like that it just gets regened right back. There's a back attack, and it missed. Nice work. No, the T does not stand for Terminator. T260 is a Saga Frontier character. He's a silly little robot. I mean, he's the slowest robot on the planet Earth right now, but he's also unkillable. So all I gotta do is just menacingly, uh, roll up to him, and just, what can he do about it? There's not a whole lot you can do about this, friend. Okay, that doesn't work. That did three. Come here. No, come here. Oh, I missed! I double tapped up, I meant a single tap! I'm at full health. You've accomplished nothing. Oh, baby, the back attack. Yeah. <laughs> Street Fighter 4, Elena, yeah. Don't you run from me. Don't you run from me! I'm a very slow boy, but I will get you. Come here. Get me when I fucking get you. that back attack. Extra damage. Presumably, he's very near death. Presumably. I suspect he cannot survive many more of these. He instantly regens 13. As you can see, we've, uh, we've gone out of our way to build this robot incredibly bulky. And we, we, he's apparently so bulky that even these boss encounters 
They cannot seem to deal much damage to him. So we're kind of free to just chip away at him until he dies. There it is. <laughs> he might not be the fastest robot, but he will get you. <laughs> All right, give me, uh, more power. All the power. Wait. We should probably go for speed here. Because the final, like, final bosses have, like, maxed out speed. And so if we have less than them, it'll lower our accuracy. It'll give us a chance to miss. And so we actually do want to make sure that this is topped off. Yeah. That seems fine. We should give T260 the turbo pack, is what we should do. Bagu, Bagu. I can't manage. Bagu. Did you mean to write the word bug there? Yeah, so we're already, like, halfway done with this joint. Now we gotta go back to the bathroom. I'm coming in. Nice try, idiot. You cannot stop the no-fuck truck. You can confuse him, though, which is pretty annoying. Even when they land hits, it says they miss. Come here. No, come here. <laughs> We've created a monster. For the most part, he's very harmless. We've created a mostly harmless, but extremely sinister robot. We should give him the turbo pack. It would be really funny. What? You destroyed the program? Good job. I can move around. Free at last. I didn't think you could do it. I'm a man, too. I'll give you a key. Where is there even... Where is there even a locked door? Have I seen... I don't know if I've seen a locked door in here. <laughs> where, where the hell is there a locked door in this joint? Here. Maybe it's not for doors. Could be. You will regret getting this close to me. <laughs> I've convinced myself. I'm giving T260 the turbo pack. I've convinced myself. There we go. Oh, we're on the outside! Oh, there's a locked door. 
We got the key before we even saw the door. That's fine. Dino? Gato brought you here too? It's big, full of people, and interesting. With a fortress like this, you don't fear hackers. Hmm? This is the hacker fortress? That means I was kidnapped. I hadn't noticed. What? I can't just sit still. Dino, let's get out of here. I will follow you. You got it. Prince, you're through. Oh, hello. Dino, you say? It's been a long time. We meet again after hundreds of years. The time slip sent the ship into the future, but it gave me the power to build this fortress. I'm impressed that you got this far, but this is the end. Gato said this is the hacker's fortress. You come to. Right, Tira. I really am the fortress's ruler. Ruler? Ah, so you're the hacker. <laughs> She's a little slow. <laughs> That's right, but don't worry, I won't hurt you. So I'm a hostage? That's awful. Step aside. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10. This game rules. Outside was outer space. This way, it's easy to get out. You got it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Just hightail it. Yep. Blow this popsicle stand. Princess is get. <laughs> yeah, he's just dead. Princess Dino, you're safe. I'm so glad. Yeah, did they kidnap her just by asking? Probably, honestly. Thank you so much. Choco is grateful to you. It's not just because of Tira. Because of your scrap, we got some information. I know you're tired, but the chief has news. Please stop by. Thanks for your help. I kept the robot scrap. There was something left in the memory. I shot some film. Take a look. Gato, what were you thinking? The Tetron tells you what to do? Do you want to know? I'll tell you. Look at this Tetron. Look at this MacGuffin diamond. Can you see? This is the fortress that'll attack Choco in the future. Look at this Kami Doku, Shujinko. <laughs> this fortress has a powerful reactor. It can also be a barrier. This fortress won't stop with Choco, but it'll go on until it conquers every planet. Gato, such a frightful thing. Cookie will oppose it. This ship is leaving soon. I'll continue research where people can't see it. Napoleon, after we leave here, I'll rebuild your memory. You'll be my assistant. I'm a robot. I can't refuse you. I'll prepare for departure. I mean, you probably could, though. You see? The boy who looks like Rask is thwarting this plan. <laughs> Desserts world, yeah. This film was shot in the engine room, its nerve center. Based on this, we started a secret weapon to destroy the engine room. When it's done, we can stop the fortress. This, Dino, is all thanks to you. I'm going back to the lab again to work on the secret weapon. See ya! Yeah, okay. Really, Dino? You're strange. Why do you have such a thing? Good question. Now I can see a ray of hope. Thank you. So am I just... Am I dipping? Am I just... Do I just leave? 
Am I just out of here? What do we... <laughs> yeah, uh-oh. Back to the lab again. I heard the story. You're going to the fortress again. Tell me when you're ready. I sure am. I'm ready right now. I'm ready right now, in fact. Okay, well... There is more to be done. It would seem. If we had a real lab... Okay, yeah. Let's find these lab people. We didn't think we'd get so much info from a scrap. Good timing. Our secret weapon is finished. It'll stop the reactor. Let's just call uh, let's call these things jars, okay? In the film of the engine room, there were three reactors with a jar in front of each one. If the red, yellow, blue jars are arranged in order, the engine will stop. So, Dino, I need this. There are no materials for a ship on Choco. You have a spaceship, I've heard, and you've been in the fortress. Could you go there and set up the jars? You got it. Thank you. Hey, did you hear? He's gonna go! Really? Then we don't have to go! <laughs> yeah! Don't worry. I'll save your planet that I care nothing about. Is there anything else you need done? You want me to just clean up the entire base while we're at it? Dino, wait! Uh, have you seen the room where I was arrested? Where I was arrested is a computer. A special password is needed to get in. The password is password. Don't tell anyone. I remember what Gato used. Dino, to help you, I'll tell you what it is. Dino learns the special password. Please take care. Come back safely. The password is, uh, admin. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. We're going back in. Favorite food. Wait a minute. I've already gone the wrong way. I was supposed to go right into the jail room. Come here. Come in in. Ah, oh, turbo pack. Immediately paying dividends. No, come here. <laughs> Is this neutral? I'll never stop dashing in. Oh no! But what can you do? You can't deal damage to me. You're so fucked. <laughs> you're, you're unbelievably fucked. There's, like, items stacked on top of each other at the door. That's why we couldn't leave. Alright, punch in the password. Password? Uh, jack in. There it is. We had to jack in to get the password. Or to input the password. Now, where does this dump us off? Dumps us off. Is like the third floor or some such? Yeah. <laughs> Your missiles cannot hurt me. 
Try as they might. I do not think they can penetrate this armor. I don't think it's possible. He's too sturdy. They're invisible. Oh no. Like I give a shit, I'm coming in. 48 damage, what a back attack. Well, the ninjas can deal damage. Nobody else can. Blue password required. I do not have the blue password. I have. We've been playing for seven hours. We should be done by the eight-hour mark. Probably before that, because we're already we're on our way to the boss fight. We've already got the princess, now we just gotta go and beat Gato and we're done. Shouldn't be too much longer. I should use a cure, though. Button! Dino, you came to save me? You're reliable, not like some people we know. Who are you talking to? Soldiers were all around, but the rescue worked. <laughs> no way. Why am I involved in this? Good question. What are you two doing? Quick run! What if they come? Pumpkinhead is back. Like moths to a flame, that's what you are. Orders from the ruler. If you straighten up, I'll forgive your mistakes. Do it! Take those two! What are you doing? Stop that! Ah, uh, I'm just unlucky. We just saved her, and she's been captured again. That's like three times within an hour. Don't worry. They're being taken to his spaceship so they can escape. It's strange! Listen, I've had it with this disgusting job. I thought I'd take over the world, but I failed. In the end, I wanted to get the ruler in trouble. I'll tell you the blue password. You need it to go to the back of the fortress. I'm going. Going where? The wind has no destination. I take it back. Pumpkinhead's pretty good. Now we can go into blue doors. Button is push. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He's just like a silly pumpkin head guy. But he's kind of cool, though. Die. This <laughs> spontaneously manifests a flowing cape. Oh no! I was out of range. Come here. <gasps> what a block! Can you block this one? I thought not. I've already forgotten the order I was meant to activate the Doomsday device. Literally already forgot. Wasn't it red, yellow, blue? <laughs> Literally forgot the instant they told me. I'm sure it'll be fine. The worst thing that'll happen is we'll all die in a huge fireball. But I found a sick baseball game. Tell me more.
Is it, uh, is it Dino Might Baseball, the dinosaur baseball game for old PCs? off of Power Pro on the DS. Crossover between 12 baseball mangas. Okay, that sounds sick. I don't know any of the source material, but that sounds awesome. There's only one thing to do, chat room. It's to raise guard even higher. We have to raise this to comically high levels. Because they accidentally got a couple hits in, and obviously I'm not cool with that. So it only seems reasonable to me. And we'll raise their power instead of their guard. There we go. That seems fine. We're actually close enough to the end where we probably don't even need, um... We probably don't even need this much charge anymore. We can probably drop that down to like eight. Do something like this. Yeah, probably. You can allocate these points however you desire. I'm thinking we do it like this. Maybe not Bobo. Maybe not Bobo, but the other ones certainly. Bobo's gonna need... Bobo's gonna need some amount of charge speed for what he's gonna be doing. We'll do it like that. red one. Set up the red jar, yeah. Glasses back on so as not to trip security beam. There's the yellow one. Actually, we can probably leave that the way it is. Glasses. Back this way. All right, well, we hit the laser, but we already got past the obstruction, so it doesn't really matter. Well, you blocked that? No way. No way, get real. Yeah, we already got past the, the blocks that would have stopped us. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's the blue one. I'm sure that's fine. Seems like we'd better leave, gamers. <laughs> We gotta hit a switch! We must locate the switch. Actually, the switch was back in the other room. Yeah, counter duted. Can't believe it.
Alright, that's not gonna do anything. They're immune to that, they're immune to this, they're immune to everything. They're not immune to that, though. Hunting horde mains, that's me! I'm a hunting horde main. Thank you for stepping out of the way, my good sir. Very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do, in fact, play Hunting Horn. Uh, where would the elevator be? Invisible enemies. Oh no. Nice try. Nice try, idiot gonna have to hit me harder than that. They can't even land a back attack. <laughs> That's how dire the situation is for them right now. We've built an unyielding wall. Just a brick wall that they cannot crash. Very good. I think we're going this way. Ooh. I don't suppose I could get you to... There we go. He's a little big. It's a big boy. A little hard to dodge around him. Wow! Was that a critical hit for five damage? How is that even possible? Crits are supposed to ignore resistances and such. That doesn't make sense. I need to get on that elevator. Which means I need y'all out of the way! Thank you! We're going all the way to the top. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Die. <laughs> Is that they fight about just rushing their shit down immediately when the fight starts? Good. Excellent. Ah, oh, too wide. <gasps> I'll fucking do it again. Two! Alright, we're gonna have to try just a regular attack. Yo, nice blocks! Alright. It's clear we're gonna have to use somebody else for this job. <laughs> what if I just punch you really hard? Ah, that's better. There's always... there's always counter picks. There's always opponents that are kind of good against one of your robots. And so you... oh. Oh, he's back. Uh... Heal up, then. Let's see, how do I want to set this up? I have a shield 4. Turbo pack T260 is good. I probably want Bobo to have a shield. Because he's probably going to use lightning for most of this. In fact, we probably want to send Bobo out first. Bobo. 
And he has the, uh, the strength pack on as well, yeah. Something like that. And then equip the transceiver. There we go. Oh, nobody! How come nobody can finish off this kid? He's not a normal kid. You know, don't you? He has Rask's blood in his veins. Napoleon? Why are you here? Hey, it's okay. You can't oppose me, your designer. I order you to do it. What happened? Do it now! Gato. No, Gato. I'm not who I was before. Choco's scientists rebuilt me. Now I can ignore your orders. This fortress will be destroyed. Give up. What else is there to do? This is just one of my plans. You will soon see my real plan. That's a sentence. Wait, are you escaping? Ah, I suppose he is. I'm leaving you here for now. Soon you'll be finished by my hand. Yeah, <laughs> you will willn't. We meet again. The Choco scientist rejuvenated me. I heard you were coming, so I followed you. Hey, this is no time to get sentimental. If you can cross this, you can follow Gato. If there's only you, I can throw you across. Yeah, just do it, bro. Yeah, just throw the child over the hole. Do it. You really look like Rask. Being with you was like being with him. You must believe in your creations and use them well. Don't make the mistake of being like Gato. Well, there's no time to spare. Stand at the edge. <laughs> yeah. That's the way to animate that. <laughs> Perfect. Three of these guys. Can I just leave? Ah, oh, bless. What if I just literally can't be bothered and I just want to leave the encounter? Legally, I don't have to participate. I can just walk out. You can just leave. You don't gotta hold shit, chat room. Well, even if I run from this guy, even if I run from these guys, they're still very much standing right in the way. Cool. Sometimes that's all you gotta do, is just fucking explode the boss in no time. That's true, bosses legally cannot attack you without their- without your consent. Oh my goodness, get juked. Mm, get fucking juked, idiot. Fuck. It's gonna be Bobo's big day here in a second. Bobo's got that lightning sword, we're about to make use of it. What a brave boy! But what can you do now? Understand this machine? Inside, te uh, Tetron are built in. Tetron only show the future, but this machine is different. When it's finished, I'll rule time, then I'll be rid of you forever! Allegedly. Yeah, so the reason we want Lightning Sword here is because there's three of these motherfuckers. And this is also why we wanted his charge stat to be higher that way. We get more turns. We are going to be facing the wrong way for the bulk of this. So the chance of being back attacked is quite high. Uh, well, they're all facing this way, so I'd have to face this way. Use cure. Nope. There is not a there is not a different theme for this fight. Oh, 
That's what we're looking for. Yes, sir. Damn, these dudes are tanky. How are the mooks not gone yet? I have a better idea. Come here. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Coming in. Yo, nice crit. I should take this time to revive Bobo. And then the rest of this should handle itself, really. Alright. I've fucking exploded. Fair enough. Gorf is the big damage dealer, though, because these claws have a chance to crit. If we ever crit with these, it's gonna do monumentally high damage. And that's kind of what we're banking on. That's a back attack. That's probably gonna kill. No, not quite. That is also a back attack. He's very wise with his positioning, but he missed! Take this chance to revive T260, then. Number go way up, yeah. Come here. Yeah, we got like a 1 in 8 chance of critting. So it's not gonna happen, like, super often. But every time it does, it's gonna shorten the fight immensely. That's fine with me. That is something I was prepared to deal with. This, these guys, I can just kind of, I can just zap them from a mile away, really. Yo, what's up, Danny the Ot? Yep, we're at the end of Robo Trek. That is not gonna kill. Did you land that hit? You did. It's all right. Plenty of healing items where that came from. And how will you stop T260 from healing? You'd have to kill him first. How do you plan to do that, friend? You need a lucky crit to kill him, you can't even deal damage otherwise. The ultimate overlord list, yeah. One seventy seven. I don't know how close he is to death. Gato's got a shit ton of HP. Fair enough. Even when it crits, it does, like, exact damage. Coming in. Huh! That's what we're looking for. Those are the crits we're looking for. Sometimes you just explode a guy. It's great. Hey, good time for a level up. Every time we level up, we get to heal dudes, and we get to make more healing items. And we get to raise our stats again. I have 10 more points to spare. There we go. Look at that, everything's at 99. Ain't that grand. Cool. 
We're not going to need charge to be any higher than 14 for the final boss because his attack animation takes so unbelievably long that we'll be able to charge up every time, pretty much. But I should not neglect this chance to create more revives while I'm here. So let's make a few of these. The game is not over yet. Oh no, not quite. Give me one more. That'll do. Pretty good. Interesting. If you still Welcome have any the bravado the left, Get follow ready. me. Coro Ice, thank you for the follow. Go into the machine. I'll show you something. I don't suppose I can save my game. Dino, I was listening. You plan to follow Gato? It's useless to stop you. Going out on your own unsettled you, but now you've found your way. You don't know what's ahead. Wanna save? I sure do. Good looking out. Well, Dino, your father and I like you a lot. I'm sure you're important to your friends, so be careful. Go for broke! You got it. That's all you had to say. Where would this be located? Look at me. He's smiling. He understands me. Dear, he can't see anything yet. Right. But I have to name this child. What are you talking about? I know what you think. You're right. Dino in all capital letters. How's that? Holy shit, you're bad at naming kids. Good. A present from your father. Be healthy. We'll always watch over you. I want a divorce. What kind of name is that? Unbelievable. Gato. I thought I'd pass this Tetron on. Why do you want to see the future? This invention is not good for people. You're not greedy, Rask. Why don't you use it? If you know the future, you can be a hero. If you throw the Tetron away, I can use it. What do you think? Gato, what do you think? Wait, Rask! You don't want to go back to Choco? There's Tetron all over on this planet. Researchers can come here from Choco. Sorry, Cookie. I knew from looking at the Tetron, Tetron would be that way on this planet, but I wanted to come here. There's a dream here. Choco has no dreams. No matter how long, I'll keep looking. That's not the only reason. I'll explain it on Choco. But I won't forget about Tetron and you. Yeah, I mean, it is nice that it's not flashing wild colors. <laughs> In the flow, this text, we cannot make it go any faster, by the way. This is its max speed. In the flow of time, humans just exist like the things they make. They too will fade and be forgotten. Yeah, that Xeno Gears tech speed. I thought inventions would exceed human power. Tetron gave me the opportunity. So I got the power to control time. Now I'll control the fate of humans. It's easy to erase you with my own hand. This is a sign to Rask, maker of the Tetron. Now it's the final boss. I, this is not the right robot to be starting this fight with. But I'm gonna uh, attack him anyway. Does this do anything? It does five damage. Oh, the rainfall. 
No damage, what a jobber. Send in the machine. So depending on what background it is, you'll get different uh, attacks thrown at you. It's very similar to how Genocide Heart works in Saga Frontier. You know what? Let me go for some crits. If I can get a fat crit... Mm. What's funny is he keeps trying to cycle the stage and then it lands back on the ice one. <laughs> if we can get some fat crits, that'd be great. Oh, now we're in the city. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Not the nukes. Come here. Not afraid of you. Although, I should probably heal first. Yeah, we end up on this one a lot. This is probably, like, the most harmless one. Now, we don't have any defense built up on Gorf at the moment. He's kind of all in on, like, a crit build, so we gotta try and land a few. Yeah, mostly harmless. Fifty-eight! <laughs> Detroit pronounced like Metroid. <laughs> Not a problem. We need to scoop him right back up. Nice try. <laughs> Good luck breaking this one. The only attack that we're really afraid of is probably the nuke. When it goes to, like, the city, that nuke is his strongest move, I think. <laughs> Not the bazooka soldiers! That one's not too bad. We haven't gotten any crits yet, though, so we're getting nowhere fast. This'll probably kill, unless it misses. Nice. <laughs> hey, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for fat crits like that, really. It's the best damage we're gonna get. Another one. Woo! Oh, you don't like that. Three in a row? World record pace? <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Four in a row! <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, Bobo is so dead. Bobo is super dead. Wait, he has a shield. Wait, he's a god. I take it back. He's a god. He's the goat. Yeah, good luck. Even if you killed the other two... How do you intend to kill T260? You have, like, one move that can hit him.
You see what I mean, though? His attacks take so long that even with no charge, you can usually... You can usually restock. Nice block? <laughs> nice double block? <laughs> Predictable. Yeah, okay. Not too worried about it. Oh, never mind, he got a crit. He can win if he crits. He's found his win con. Not if I crit you first. You'll have to try a little harder than that. <laughs> Coming in. Woo! Oh. Oh, he's good. All right, we're on healing duty. Ooh, what a trade. All right, he's confused, so he's definitely dead. t 260 is going to come back in. We're going to need to revive somebody else before he gets crit and dies. Yeah, this fight takes a really long time if you do not go for critical hits. I don't really know why they did it that way, but pretty much the only way to kill this boss in a timely fashion is by using the level 3 punch to try to get critical hits. It's like literally your only option for good damage. Nice confuse. But he's really, he's not that dangerous. It's not like we grinded. We're not like over leveled or anything. The game, you just kind of end up about this strong. It's more like knowing what in the game is good and useful. And you just kind of end up unstoppably powerful most of the time. Nice whiff. Coming in. That might kill, yeah. I bet you thought that when we got to the final boss, I bet you thought the clown music would be over. Little did you know, there was an even more dramatic version of clown music. And that, like, lead flute, the lead synth or whatever that is, it never stops. We just live here now. I don't think this kills. Yeah, cool. Give me a crit. Let's go. All right, so that took what? <clears throat> that took approximately five crits. So he has at least 3,000 hit points. Imagine, imagine trying to fight him normally then. <laughs> it's like, if you have to crit your way to 3,000 damage, like how long would that have taken? We have done it. We've completed the video game. And what a robo trek it was. <laughs> Dino Crisis! Dude, we gotta play Dino Crisis 2. Dino Crisis 1? You know, survival horror. Quotation marks, survival horror. 
Dino Crisis 2? <sighs> Straight up uh, arcade action. You <laughs> late as heck, Dino's dream. Don't worry. The game is over. We've completed the video game. I wanted to get it done in two streams, so I knew that they would both run longer than usual. We still have to finish, uh... We still have to finish Keto Keto King as well. Maybe we'll do that next week sometime. Yeah. I don't know about Frog Week. We're already like halfway done with that game. We would just do the other half. <laughs> see ya. Oh, it's not see ya yet. We got like, we got like a solid ten minutes of credits to get through. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Trek Pro, and it only took us like 15 hours. What's the speed run? It's like three. We were close. We were only like we were only like a solid 12 hours off the world record. <laughs> Yeah, we missed it by that much, I agree. Maybe next time, PJ. If that's your real name. <laughs> A frog race has been redeemed. I will definitely have to refund those points, I'm afraid. Fear not. You will have your points back, but we definitely don't got time for all that. It's already 10 p.m. here. Late night unregulated frog race. Aw, oh, cool image of the ship escaping the fortress. I think that we as a civilization failed as soon as we stopped adding the scene from like every NES game where. After you beat the final boss, there's a shot of the castle crumbling like this. Right? We failed as soon as game is veered away from the shot of, like, the hero on a cliff watching the castle collapse. Character is ship flying towards the screen. Yeah. The bouncer. <laughs> the timing on that was pretty strong. It's right as the music went away. Back to Oith. Excuse me. Back to Quinn Tenix. Do I think this kid has PTSD? Nah. I don't. <laughs> I think that kid's in good hands. He's got three nigh-unstoppable robots surrounding him at all times. I think he'll be all right. <laughs> Fire. Now it's time for some extremely Japanese credits.
This absolutely clashes with everything that's happened so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good emote for this, yeah. I agree. They should have done the. Uh, they should have done the, the you know the clown like the circus thing. That da 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 da. da they should have done that at the end. To Japan, a foreign, yeah. Eat your hamburgers, Apollo. Also, it's Halloween, I guess. Happy Halloween. October is one of the best times of the year for streaming. It's definitely the easiest part of the year to book streams for. October books itself, really. always Halloween somewhere. True. I definitely did a stream at some point, like, in February, that I just titled, I have decided that today is Halloween, and then we played spooky games. <laughs> we will probably not dedicate all of October to Spookums, though, because that's a shit ton of kind of a similar vibe. But certainly for some of October. There's a few things we always do in October. There's always at least some amount of Scooby-Doo. There's always Mr. Bones. Yeah, Ancient is on the uh, title screen. It's the title screen. It says Quintet slash Ancient slash Enix. Legacy of Cain, yeah. Enix only published this. I don't think they actually worked on it at all. They sure as hell took the credit on the box art, though. Another great RPG from Enix! They did not make this video game. And yo, Merry Christmas. Thanks! Yo, Eba, thank you for that gift sub to Glums! Yeah, I made this. I mean, even the Japanese box art, it has fucking Enix branding and not Quintet branding. Publisher rights be like, the you made this? No, I made this. Oh, Merry Christmas also. It's Halloween and Christmas today. What an event. No, I'm not dressed for this. Who knew that Robotrek was a Christmas game all along? <laughs> oh, there they go. Back into the mainframe. Match of Square Enix re-releases this. Nobody's ready for when Robo Trek 2 drops. This game's been in the oven for 30 years now. It's gonna be the greatest game of all time when it drops. I do love this game though. I love the just the customization. The degree of customization you get, and you have three robots you can fuck around with. 
And it's pretty simple, too. It's not a particularly complicated game. Yeah, I can't think of many other RPGs like it. The name Slapstick's very accurate. The game does not take itself that seriously at all. All the music's too short. I think they should make it shorter. Honestly, some of those tracks are like... 10, 20 second loops. We can really... We can really lower that. You know the fucking... You know the sewer theme for Terminator for the NES? That's what we're that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm I need a two second loop. You know the, the Rocky and Bullwinkle theme for the NES? Mmm. That's what we need. Oh thank you, Mr. Radon. Eat some mashed potatoes, <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Who's flying the ship? They're gone. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Love when a game thanks the player. 1994 Quintet Ancient Enix, licensed by Nintendo. There's quite a lot of names on this video game. It's been too long, you crave the cloud music. Clown music's over, I'm afraid. Oh, there they go. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. That's it. We can press buttons at this point. The buttons, they do nothing. There is no way to escape this screen as far as I know. We're out of game, which means we are out of stream. Thank you all for tuning in. Oh, let me refund those points for you before I forget. There we go. All right. That's it. That's all I got for y'all this you. week. Thank you for tuning in. Thank, Thank you for you. sticking around. Who's on? Thank you. Who's on that we can raid? Murph is playing Half-Life. There's no shot, dude. <laughs> that Thank doesn't you. make Thank any you. sense. Thank you. All right. Let's raid Murph. I'm going to raid oh, Murph and he's immediately going to end the stream cuz he's going to be like, "Why?" Thank you. Thank he's like, you. "Why are you raiding me? It's 10 p.m." Throw Scoots at him, though, if he is on late. Or, if you don't have Dino Scoots, throw Rack Attacks at him, and I'll see you all on Monday with something else. Maybe the back half of Keto Keto King? But maybe we'll do that on, like, Friday or some, sh uh, some shit. Have a good weekend, everybody. Till next time. Bye bye